everybody and welcome to another live stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I am Johnny Chiodini and goodness me am I ever glad that I am actually streaming today because I came this close to having to call it off. Oofed. Um, basically today we are going to be playing, uh oh I need my mouse for this, there we go, uh, Ravenous Devils which is a game we've played before um, and very very quietly in the background. You'll be able to hear sort of some rustling in the trees and not the music. We muted that because, oh my god, it's a lot in this game. But there we go. There's some desktop audio. Um, let's. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine, but ooh, you may have seen a little bit of stutter there. Basically, what I normally do when I'm streaming a PC game is I play it on my gaming PC. That goes through an Elgato external capture device box thing that's not failed me in all the time I've had it until today uh, and then it gets plugged into the PC right um, easy today for some reason it was like it just didn't want to play ball so I couldn't for the life of me get it to give me any audio uh, it, it gave me video when it felt like it um, but so what I've what I'm doing now is I'm actually st it's, I wish you could see this I'm streaming the game from my gaming PC via Steam onto my streaming PC. So this PC is still doing all the heavy lifting, but this one is actually helping me control the game. Um, so I can see the game twice, which is really, really distracting, but it doesn't matter because what does matter is we've got the game running now and what's more, we can resume our save file. Oofed. So, anyway, I'm going to hit play and then I will pause this as soon as I can. Right, okay, so we've not actually opened up for the day yet. Oh, I've not played this since we last streamed it, so this will be interesting. So, um, yes, hello everybody. Welcome back to Ravenous Devils, or if you've never seen this game before, welcome to Ravenous Devils. This game is basically... Um, it's, it's kind of like if you imagine Sweeney Todd the game, but with uh, less singing um, and uh, uh, just a, a lot more murder, I think. Like, we really get through them in this game. So the idea is, um, this we're in East London. It's heavily implied that we've taken over what was Sweeney Todd's shop, so that would make us... Uh, it would put us in Fleet Street in central London. Um, named after the River Fleet, by the way. Um, but uh, basically, we are a couple. We are this lady here and her dishy partner up here. And between us, we run a couple of criminal enterprises. Um, up here, we've got a tailor's shop where we make clothes, for example. Let me just get my bearings. We pick up the cloth. See? We just take it to the sewing machine. Wait for that to be done. Juggada, 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 juggada. We grab the clothing and we put it on one of our mannequins. People come into the shop and they buy these clothes because people... It's a masterpiece. Uh, people like buying clothes. Um, people also like bespoke clothing. And for that they come in here to be measured. Actually what happens to more of them... Than, uh, than anything else is, they go down this little trap door, down the chimney, and bloop, they just land here in the basement, which is where our lovely softly spoke, softly spoken wife comes in, because she'll pick up a corpse. She is extremely strong, this lady, and we've got a mince maker, and we've got a sausage maker here, so let's just... Whoop, in they go. Smush them in. Always important. And then crank, crank, crank. Look, we're making sausages. Right, and then here's the dilio. Dilio. <laughs> uh, we've got a book of recipes here. Uh, oh my god, how could I forget? We always we make lasagna. It people love it. People absolutely bloody love eating lasagna, and it's worth loads of money. So let's make some lasagna. For that, you need a tomato, of course, and that goes on a platter. 
you need some mint meat and we need some wheat okay and then this goes into the oven we've not opened the shop yet so it's all feeling pretty relaxed right now I'm just kind of running you through the game very very slowly uh, Matt Wetton says, what part is making the sausage makes you think? Well, all parts, Matt. I know what you're insinuating, and yes, probably is a penis in there, but it's part of the rest of the sausage. Anyway, it smells so good. We've got some lasagna here. And what we can do is stick it in the dumbwaiter and send it upstairs. Right? And that's when our child helper comes in. Now it's very important for you to note, the child helper does not into the kitchen go. The child helper does not into the tailor's shop go. As far as the child is aware, this is a legitimate business selling legitimate not people products. Okay? Very, very important. Uh, Burrito has done a super chat saying, congratulations on the defeat of the ghoul, friend. Solidarity. Uh, thank you very much, Burrito. That is very kind. Oh, and Carrie Joy has done a super sticker of basically it's a pear. It's a pear with a face, arms, legs, um, and a, a mug that I think is just full of blood, just kind of sloshing about in there. Uh, Garina Rain has done the exact same sticker. I worry that I'm going to have to describe this sticker a lot today, but that's, you know what? That's that's okay. Anyway, right. So the child doesn't realise that we're killing people and chopping them up here. Okay? But the child, I think, has an inkling uh, that we are perhaps an insalubrious um, outfit. Because... Uh-oh. Uh no, don't, don't worry about the connection. Um, the child, previously, on, on being hired, told us that... Well, he said... I'm a brick wall mister. There was a comma missing from that sentence. It should have been, I'm a brick wall mister. As in, it's like talking to a brick wall. You can't get any information out of me. There's no point in talking to a brick wall. But the way it was written thoroughly suggested that uh, what he was saying was, I'm a brick wall mister. So basically, if you if you had forgotten about this, the, the previous stream, or if you didn't see the previous stream, uh, you are now caught up. We've got this shop, we sell delights, there is a table, I really wish I'd never bought it because people come down and expect table service, which is nightmarish. Um, and we, oh, we have a garden to grow potatoes and things for other delicious recipes. In fact, we're out of um, fertilizer, so we need to kill somebody and dump their body in the bathtub. We're also out of clothing. Basically today, we need to kill a lot of people. Uh, Selena Steele has done a super sticker uh, of the, the pair that I mentioned before, having having a mug of blood, um, sort of just holding on to a party blower and being like, <laughs> um, celebrating the fact that, as I say, we're going to kill a lot of people. Um, oh, yes. Uh, th thank you, um, uh, Krinsbeck Vander, uh, the body in the window. We have a mysterious client who knows who we are and knows that we're bad, but is basically just like, hey, I, I want you to kill these specific people for me and I'll come get the bodies. This has been here for ages. He needs to come get it, but hey ho. We also have a cat, as some of you have noticed. We can cuddle the cat. You. You're a good hunter. I forget how we send the cat off. Do we feed the cat? Basically, we can send the cat off and the cat will... Maybe it's we just pet it. Uh, and the cat will take us... Uh, get us a rat. Um, so that uh, we can make more things. Uh, but let's see. We need, we need a bit more food. Let's make some... Let's make some good old-fashioned pies, shall we? See, there we go. Look, we can make skewered rat. People like that. So there are star ratings on things. Oh, we can make some nice sausages. Tomato and onion sausages. Om nom 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 nom. Jack Ironside has done a super sticker of our possibly murderous friend, the pair. Kind of just going like, hee hee hee. Hee 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 hee. Um, as if to say, what a little scamp I am. Um, uh, okay, so here we go. Ooh. 
as fast as I can. So we do have a gin barrel, which is great, and we've got the child. So the table service should be less onerous this week, but it'll still be pretty awful. Uh, let's see if we have any upgrades. We made some money. There we go. Upgrades. What can we get? We could start selling steaks. Unlock a table to make some steaks. Uh, in the kitchen, we could get a third oven. Ooh, that would be quite a good idea. I'm not buying another fucking table in the pub. Pardon my French. More space in the display. Always good. Great. Um, Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, don't worry about all the killing of people. After all, everyone dies, so might as well make it profitable. <laughs> oh, we can increase the composter's speed. Let's do that. Speed up our composter. It's not making compost right now, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll make some more mints. And then we'll be we'll be ready to go pretty soon. I wish we had more cloth. I need to steal some clothes. Oh, do we have tomatoes to harvest? There are no ingredients to harvest here. Never mind. Oh, anyway. Oofed. Good. You know what? I'm actually really, really glad that I had that opportunity to explain the game to you because that's been quite relaxing for me after quite a frenetic sort of hour trying to get that Elgato to work. I'm quite worried about it, but you know what? So it goes. Here comes the child. The child is putting out sausages. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to do some more cooking before we open this place up. Because it's good to have the bases loaded, basically. Um, so that there's not, like... There's a surplus of food that we sell throughout the day, rather than starting and cooking everything to order. It can... In fact, we will keep one table, one of these trays clear, in case uh, we get a table coming and they want something cooked that we haven't already got. But, yeah. Cool. Cookie Cat 94 says, oh wait, we get the steak station soon. That's a lot. Interesting. Oh, oh, look, look. The cat has brought a rat. You're a good hunter. Let's just cook that straight off. Uh, the nice witch is here saying, I'm a brick wall mister. Which we'll be saying a lot. Baking time. Oh, lasagna, nan, 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 is ready. Is there still space? Let's try and send it up. Child. Oh, look. That's another base we can load. Oh, that's exquisite. Okay. Uh, why don't we make some more? Um, we want to make another lasagna. Nya, 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 nya. Alice Needham says, Husband and cat are now watching this with me. Family fun. Alice, that is stretching the family portion uh, of, uh, of the fun. I mean that to say that th this is not generally family friendly, but I suppose how impressionable is a cat really going to be? Uh, hello, Alice Needham's husband and cat. Okay. Revolver Rock says, can stolen clothes be used on the people who ask for the fitting? Seems suspicious if everyone goes home unsatisfied or doesn't go home at all. You'd think that, but we've been getting away with it so far. That smells so good. Mm. Neko the Kitty has done a superb sticker. The super sticker is of a peach. But get this. The shape of the peach and the way it is lit, um, causing the shadows to fall. There's no tray there. What? Where's the tray? Oh, it's, upst oh, it's upstairs. Right. Put the sausages back. That is a base we can load, but we don't have the extra tray. Mm. Anyway, sorry, Neck of the Kitty's sticker, to, to get back to the point, looks like a bum. Looks like a butt. Looks like a juicy peach of a bum. Right. We've got a lasagna, nya, 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 nya. We've got a tray specifically for when the table comes in. We've got some lasagna, nya, 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 nya there. We've basically loaded our bases. I'm going to read one super chat, and then I'm going to open the shops. Only took 15 minutes. Cookie Cat 94. Uh, has done a super chat saying spoiler free warning for the stakes if anyone finds the current meat makers hard to watch look away for the stakes the animation is more detailed wowie well let's go oh wait uh fernando perez perez sorry excuse me says the tray is in the oven with the rat 
Oh, that smells so good. Well, that's great. We do have an extra base to load then. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay, here we go, everybody. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Get on up. It's cannibalism time. Timothy Thomas has done a super chat. Um, it reads, hey, Johnny and LSP, just want to say thank you for being a port of escapism and laughter in a time when things are becoming increasingly scary and difficult for people. Your streams always help me unwind. Thank you, Timothy. That is very kind of you. And also, wow, isn't that the gospel truth? Um, it's a, it's a, a lot, a lot to be anywhere at the minute and do anything indeed. Um, I hope you're hanging in all right, Timothy. I'm very, very glad to be of service no, speaking of service, boy, boy, what do they want? Okay, recipes, 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 recipes. Uh, they want, uh, they want sausage wheat, schnitzel, whatever it is. Sausage. Over here, over here. Come on, put it on the fucking plate. It's fine. Some might say I found this game very stressful last time I played it. Um, and I would agree, because the table is a goddamn nightmare. Oh, hello! Hello, madame. Let me just... Yeah, give you one of those in the neck with some scissors. Schnitzel's up. Take it to the table. People will like this. Right, and then, here we go. Whee! Body goes down the hole. <clears throat> Go on, child, serve them. They're just so hard to please, those people, you know? Right. Well, there's there's the body. That actually scared me, then. Well, it didn't scare me. It made me jump. Mop up the blood. There's a good fellow. Um. Okay. And then we need... Let's just do another lasagna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because lasagna, you know what? It makes money. We're running low on tomatoes, though. So we'll make as much lasagna as we can today. And then we'll see. <laughs> the nice which says, Cruel Runnings, the cannibal remake of loved cinematic classic Cool Runnings. Mwah! Absolute bloody perfection. Right, you. Get some cloth. Get out on the sewing machine. The nice switch says this is making me very hungry. A lot of people said that last time we played this. A lot of people found it a bit of a, a hunger maker. Right, that guy's buying a thing. God, the clothes are flying off the shelves. It's really warm. He sounds so much like Soldier 76 from Overwatch. Ah, shit. Are those the same pi- God damn it. Stop being hungry, you twerps. People will like this. Oh, bloody hell. They want pie? Pie? Normal meat pie? Boring. Okay. Mankoy says, does the the cat have anything to do with the... No, 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 not, not tomato, Johnny, you little lasagna-loving prick. Just make pie. That's all they want. And then we'll pet the cat. As for you, that's going up there for once. Sloth with Shades has done a superb chat, saying, I'm delighted to let you and the LSPs know that all your wishes helped. Uh, I got the new job at the hospital and an insane salary increase. I went, I went in high. They went in even higher. So here's your share. Thank you very much, Sloth with Shades. I assume you meant high as in, like, in terms of the amount of money you asked for and they actually offered you more than that, which is just superb. Um, okay. Oh, oh, we've got sausages to send up. Or is that rat? I forget. Okay. They're happy. They're happy. The assholes eating at the table are pleased. Oh, I'm so glad for me. Oh, hang on. Okay. Right, you, Muggins, get sewing. you got nothing to sell, buddy. Come on. We've made 66 quid today, though, so far. No, I can't just cook meat. Oh, apparently I can. I feel like I'm off, off my game. I haven't played in a while. 
Come on, come on, look. Clothes go on the mannequin. Goodness me. Uh, wheat goes on the tray. Come on. Come on. Last clients. Put it on the bloody tray! E gads! What is wrong with you? Oofed. Tree Man says we have arrived exactly when we intended, the missus and I. Precisely when you mean to. Oofed. <laughs> Neil Druitt says, good amount of money. You're making a killing. Oh, what's this now? Hello, mister. Good morning, madam. Hello, little one. So, did you find mum? Oh yeah, mum's dead. <laughs> no, but I'm coming to terms with it. What a plucky young, th young thing. Maybe she has left me. An extra mouth to feed must be a burden. Tory Britain. Undoubtedly. It's irresponsible to have kids these days. Do you have children, madam? I like them, but I couldn't eat a whole one. You can call me Hildred, darling. And no, I don't. I don't think I would make a good mother. No one can blame me for that. I was not raised for it. Would you like some gin? <laughs> My darling! <laughs> no, I don't think I'd make a good mother. Do you want some gin? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh! <laughs> Surely a drop of gin will make you feel better. Yes, please. That's a whole fucking bottle. That's not a drop. That's 70 centiliters. Fucking hell. It looks like a Nando's sauce bottle, though. Jacob M says, I mean, it's gin, not whiskey. <laughs> And the night switch says, down it, fresh air. Where were we? Ah, yes. My father raised me, and there wasn't much time for dilly-dally. I had to take care of the pigs. But wouldn't you like to have a child? I told you, boy, they are expensive. Now drink that gin. It'll warm you up. It's freezing outside. Oh, thank you kindly, Lady Hildred. Have a good day. Fake stuff says, what have I joined to? We're getting an orphan trashed. Why is he an orphan? We killed his mum. Malcolm has done a super sticker. The super sticker, once again, is our friend, the pair. It is a pair with arms and legs and a face and a sports headband and trainers. Um, not only is this pair sentient, um, and able to move around by itself, it also seems to be dangerous because it is grinning while clutching a mug that can only be full of blood. I'm stalling for time so that child gets like a real lick of gin inside him. Keeps thrusting the mug toward the camera, um, delight delightedly, being like, look how much blood is in this mug. And Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying, thought you said, would you like some chin? Nick. Even for you, that's a bit forced. Come on. Talman has done a super chat saying, children are expensive, like 4 50 a pound. <laughs> okay. Oh, my name is Peter, by the way. All right, Peter. See you soon. Off he goes. He's doing a little, little jaunty little gin run. Okay, right. We go again. God, they're, they're eating us out of house and home. We need to kill more people and catch more rats. We just, we need protein. The nice switch says, oh my God, it's Peter Beale from EastEnders. Oh, I've got nothing left. God, I remember Peter. Sorry, that was an Ian Beale impression. Silly me. Now, we need, we need more things. Let's just, let's grow some, right, we're going to grow all of our vegetables. To grow, grow. Captain Chinese says, hang on. 
Oh god, I'm going to tab out to approve comments that are held for review. Sorry about that. Uh, Captain Shiny says, Am I remembering right that we killed his mum and then fed him to her? Yeah. Fed her to him, rather. God, the, the alternative would be very logistically difficult. Anyway. Um, Alice Needham says, uh, Me and husband, brackets, John, like your t-shirt, Johnny. Thank you very much. It's from a, a brand called Sin Eater. And it says, Soil Wizard. And, oh, it doesn't show up very nicely there. Hang on. It's a mole. Being a soil wizard. Um, Neko the Kitty says, Remember, Johnny, if you want the pigeons to lay eggs, you've got to feed them crap. Yes, how could I forget? Um, if we want to feed the pigeons, we've got to feed them some fertilizer. There we go. <laughs> Semantic Poetry says, Wouldn't want Peter to freeze outside, otherwise he'll be a blue Peter. Thank you for that super chat, Semantic Poetry. <laughs> it was um, torturous, but good. I love tomatoes. Get in the waiter. Boop. Alrighty, so what were we making here? Just sausages, was it? No, no, no. We shall make something nicer than just sausages. How about sausages with tomato and onion? That's a three-star meal, you know? Or we could do sausages and chips. We can't do sausage and egg and chips, which is a shame. Michaela Hawkins has done a Super Chat saying, In two years, I never got COVID. I have it for the second time this year. Hopefully I can stay awake for most of the stream. Thanks for being you. I am very, very sorry that you've got COVID. Um, good job for avoiding it for so long. Um, apologies that it has caught up to you quite so successfully. As fast as I can! Come on, pick me some onions. <coughs> Hildred needs to free the elevator first. He's such a weirdo. Oh, and the cat's got a rat. We'll be cooking that up, won't we? As fast as I can. What's he going to say about the onions? Here we go. At least they're not rotten. Alex Simpkin has done the super chat saying, Hot dog, what a cruel thing you've done. <laughs> uh, that's, I think... One of my favourite lines from the X Venture is Hot Dog, what a cruel thing I've done. Sausages are in the oven. These will last a little. Cuddle the cat, make it want to hunt. Come here, you little baby. A little flea bag. So. Um, oh, fucking garments. You need to sew. Admittedly, I need to... Yeah. What's he going to say about the potatoes? At least they're not rotten. No, no, no. Uh, what were we doing? Uh, oh. Let's load some bases. That smells so good. Claire de Bear says, don't forget to feed the mystery plant, Johnny. Thank you for the super chat and the reminder. I forgot about the mystery plant. It's here. We need to feed it lots more people. But we're running low on people. We need to kill a lot of people today. My window's open. I really hope no one can hear that. Yes, more tomatoes. I deserve more money. You fucking don't, mate. You're rubbish. Mo moving there. Okay. Oh, there's another rat. This cat is industrious. And that's tremendous because we, ne we need... We're, we don't have loads of meat. And we're gonna... And we're gonna... That smells so good! And we're going to uh, unlock steaks. Because why not? Why not expand our menu? It smells so good. 
upgrades. Where's it gone? Steaks. Unlock a table to make some steaks. Achievement unlocked. Gourmet chef. New recipes unlocked. Oh, they're heavy. What recipes can we do then? Oh, kebabs. Kebabobs. Uh, steak. Steak with potato and onion. Steak with tomato and onion. We shall do steak with potato and onion to avoid... Oh, actually, the secret ingredient is crime. I was going to say we should do steak with potato and onion because that means that we're not leaning on our tomato stocks, which of course we need for lasagna. Nya, 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 nya. But then I realised steak and wheat and eggs, that's, that's, that's even better, isn't it? That uses up even fewer of our resources. Even less of our resources. Fewer. Even fewer resources. Even lesser of our resources. Selena Steele has done a super chat, a super sticker of a pie. A slice of pie, in fact. A very red pie. A very, very red looking pie. Ominous. Okay. The best ingredients for my recipes. Oh, look, we've got a steak. We already have a steak. You're a good hunter. The child's standing there being like, I wish they'd open up. I can't go home until they're done. Right, you, sir. Uh, let's see. We've got some rat on the table. Let's just bang that in the oven while the cat goes hunting. And then we're going to do steak. Here's some steak. Flour. And egg. This kitchen is so poorly laid out, it is atrocious. And that's going to go in the oven. Oof. Cookie Cat 94 says, So is everyone ready for the most detailed animation of the game? I guess we'll have to be. Right. Let's... We need to get clothes on the mannequin. Pickled Dream says, is the meat free range? Oh yes, oh yes, we don't we don't use prisoners. <laughs> All of our meat has actually walked in of its own accord. Some form of schnitzel. People will like this. Uh, and that means, oh we've got another rat to do. Hit him. I need to take out the tray first. Rat goes in oven. Oh, we got other rat here. Wow. Well. It smells so good. Right, base is loaded. St don't put it out, child. You've put it out. You've wasted it. We already had full things. Oh, well. Uh, well, that'll teach me, won't it? Okay. Uh, the smell so good. And we'll make one lasagna, nya, 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 in case someone comes in wanting that. Phew! Tomat. And flour. That smells so good. Okay. Let's do this. Right after I read this super chat from Grumsons, uh, who says, Home from eight hours kitchen shift to this stream. Perfect timing, to be honest. And sharing good news. I'm excited to tell you I got the job I applied for and will soon be doing office admin at my country's national museum. That's amazing, Grumsons. Congratulations. Great work. Um, good job on absolutely smashing the interview from the sounds of things. I'm also extremely glad that, like, you know, because I was going to say, like, oh, God, what must it feel like to come home to this and be like, oh, great, more cooking after a whole day's kitchen shift. But um, with any luck, um, this will be fun rather than just 
a busman's holiday, as they say. Right, okie dokie, places people! We're going to kill some people and feed them to other people. Open those shops. God, those of you who know about the steak animation, really looking forward to me seeing it, are making me a little nervous. I won't lie. Zega Genesis says, I don't think this is representative of a standard commercial kitchen, Johnny. What do you know about it, Zega Genesis? You like Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> Here they come, the rubes. Come on it. Don't you sit down. You pricks. Don't sit down. Go away. Who are you even waiting for? Oh, wonderful. It's a table for four. Hope they're like rat. What do you what do they want? Boy. Boy, go get. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Oh fuck, they want steak. They want steak, but I haven't got a dead. I mean I have got a dead now. Oh god, here we go. Alright, we'll give him gin when we need to. Gin cures all ills. Impatiently waiting for a table, being a hungry orphan and cold. Okay, here we go. Emma Benton says, Johnny's greatest regret, getting a table. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Here it comes. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, my God! Wow. Wow, they buried the lead on this one, didn't they? She's so strong, it's terrifying. Okay, cook one of those, please. Fucking hell. The nice one, she quite rightly says, wow, it just keeps going. Boy, give them gin. Give them. Some there we go, look, there goes the boy with the gin. Selena Steele, with impeccable timing, sends a super sticker of uh, our friend, the, the pair, just being like, hee hee hee, as if to say, I'm such a scamp. Look at the horrible thing that I've done. Where have I gone? Kill, kill, kill that guy, kill that guy, kill the fucking guy. No! Oh, I hate this restaurant. Where have you gone? Oh, you're at the gin barrel. Fucking get back down here. You were drinking gin? You were just drinking the gin? Shit. Shit! Oh, God! Make clothes! Make some fucking clothes! Oh, my God! You, get that in the dump! This day's a fucking disaster! It's nearly over! What have we done? How many people have we killed? One? Bollocks! Rubbish! That guy's leaving! These people actually seem satisfied. Right, get a lasagna up there! Get a lasagna up there now! I wasn't going to drink until, I wasn't going to open a beer until like halfway through the stream, but you know what? Oh, good God. Right, aha, aha. I need a corpse. I know, I know you need a corpse to throw. Go make one. Go make one, sir. Oh. Fernando Pires says, can you serve gin to the upstairs clients? Ha <laughs> ha. No, they go. There's blood everywhere. They go down uh, sober, unfortunately. Moving there. Today's been a fucking disaster. Is there even enough food? Get the rat in the oven. We've got we've got enough food to see us out for the rest of the day, I reckon. My god, what a mess. What a mess. There's blood everywhere. Oh, Neko the Kitty says, anyone outside your window has got to be so confused. Thank God my neighbour is a comedian who also not infrequently makes things on TikTok. So sometimes he'll be like, I'm so sorry if you just heard some screaming, I'm making a thing. And I'm like, don't even worry about it. I'm sorry if you heard me scream. Who comes in at closing time? Who comes in at closing time and demands food? What do you want? Steak? What do you want? You want you do want fucking steak. Put the tray down, Hildy. As fast as I can. I made one of these. No, pick it up. Pick up the steak. 
I made one of these earlier for fuck's sake. Stephen Paul has done a super chat saying that meat machete is very, very sharp or she's very strong. Or both. All terrifying. Oh, absolutely. And Lightning 1998's JD has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, can you wish my wife a happy birthday? We have COVID. Just in time for her birthday. Hopefully it'll clear up for our first anniversary next week. Hey, happy anniversary for next week. But more importantly, a uh, very happy birthday to, to your wife. Um, I'm so sorry you both have COVID, but I hope it clears up very soon and you manage to have a lovely time nonetheless. Look at these fucking people. Look at them. Look at them. I wish I could murder them all. Um, oh my god, that other Canadian says, when I worked at a steakhouse, I had a group of 12 walk in 20 minutes from close and order an unreasonable amount of food and then not tip. It should be legal to, it should be legal to make those people into steaks. There, I said it. My god, that is just not okay, is it? Oh, oh. Mormentos in chat. Hello, oh, Imogen, how are you doing? Um, I've murdered a, a lot of people. Do you want to see something horrible? Because <laughs> you're gonna. It's this bit that's really awful. The sound is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> the game was like, no, nope, you don't need to see that. Okay. We did all right, you know. We made £52. Oh, oh no. Never mind. It's carrying on. <laughs> More mental. So she's very good at that. I know. Terrifyingly so. Oh. That was not a great day in our horrible little crime empire. We're low on corpses. We're out of fucking cloth. We're good on eggs and onions. And things. Oh. That was a lot. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to refill the things. We need to refill the things. So let's just make another nice, relaxing lasagna. Nya, 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 nya. <sighs> JP Corkery says, why isn't Hildred the one doing the cooking? She seems more qualified. It's a good question. I think she's... But she's a powerhouse. He's not fast enough in general. Prince Beckvander says we don't get game audio, is, or is that just me? Can you not hear this? Can you not hear the game? You should be able to. Um, you're not getting game audio. What the? Well, that's annoying. I mean, nobody told me for nearly an hour. That's so weird. It's showing up in OBS. It's showing up in OBS that... I've... Uh, mm, that's really weird. Hang on. What the fuck? What? How is that? Okay. Filters. Add a filter. Uh, gain. Gain. Can you hear a low rumbling now? Like... Can you hear that? It should be, that should be very audible now. Yes, you can, yes, can now, okay. Okay, how loud, how, is it too loud? Okay, 
That's so weird. Yes, but faint. All right, well, it's quiet. Let me just boost the, let me boost the audio some more. Thanks all for being so patient with me. Um, what will make noise? Neko the Kitty says, need you to do the voices still. Of course I'll still do the voices. Not a monster. Let's see. Recipes. What can we make with sausages? We can make a mixed grill platter, seemingly. Let's do sausages and egg. <laughs> sausages and... No, the thing is, it's not, it's not worth making low-rent recipes. Mint, steak and sausage. That better sell for loads. Let's go for it. Ah, Will's in chat says, I'd go for a mixed grill. Hello, Will. Hope you're very well. Oh, but the nice witch says sausage and egg, please. All right. For you, the nice witch, I will make you sausage and egg. Although, I think of, like, all of their sausages and something meals for children. Sausages and chips and beans is my favourite. How are the audio levels now? Because OBS, for me, just then, with the game, was like, Whoa! This is too loud. Yada, yada, yada. Is that mega loud? Smells so good. Shows the Great and Powerful says, how about sausages and long egg? No. The game is super quiet. That's really weird. Okay, well, we're going to push on. Shocking Squirrel has done a super chat saying, is it bad? That this makes me hungry. Uh, no, I think that's fine. I think that's absolutely fine that it's making you hungry. A friend of mine, um, we talked about this on the last stream, a friend of mine used to be a vet veterinary... No. No. Shush. Scout, no. No. A friend of mine used to be a vet student and uh, they used to have dissection classes and apparently, like, everyone just used to come out of them really, really hungry. It's ridiculous. Right, I'm going to read these two super chats uh, and then I'm going to get a beer. Um, Monster Noodle is on a super chat saying, Hello, I have new pain meds for my back and I'm running on two hours sleep. Oofed. Can anyone tell me which planet this is? Hope you're all doing well. Um, doing all right, thanks, Monster Needle. I'm, I'm on considerably more sleep than that. Uh, I hope you're okay. That sounds like a lot. Um, oh my god, we've got tomatoes. No, we haven't. Yeah, there's nothing to harvest in there. Um, uh, but, 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 yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the, the new meds and the lack of sleep, but I hope, uh, they work nicely. Um, Nick Jeffries on Super Chat saying, going to my gaming evening later and taking my new Kickstarter Hogs of War miniatures game to test out. The box is larger than some buildings. I didn't know that was coming out. My, Well, I knew it was coming, but uh, my brother backed that on Kickstarter and has asked me if I can paint the miniatures, but I, I had forgotten about that game entirely, to be honest. So, Right, so we've loaded one base. We've got one more base to load, but I'm going to load my tummy with a beer. Uh, Mian says, wait, Johnny has a cat. Johnny's got two cats, mate. Well, they're my wife's cats, as I like to say, whenever they're being assholes. I'll be back. Um, just hold on. I'll be like 20 seconds. So I'm not going to put the be right back screen on. Oh, 
Hi everyone, this is Scout. She doesn't make an appearance very often because she doesn't really like the dog. So she tends to avoid me and the dog. But she's lovely. She's purring away. Scout is um, big. She's a big cat, but she's lovely. Um, she was rescued from a hoarder situation um, where she had to basically compete for food as a kitten which was a shame. Um, so she still, whenever she sees food now, she's like, I need to inhale this. Um, I've definitely missed a super chat there, but I will scroll back up and, and, and read it. Um, yeah, she, uh, so she used to have to compete for food, so now she likes eating food a lot. Whereas the other one is used to being able to leave food and have it be there when she comes back. So she eats both of the amounts of food, but she is very sweet. And I love her, but she's digging into my shoulder quite hard. <clears throat> oh, you smell quite bad, actually. Wow, you smell awful. Go have a wash. Wow, you smell. Wow, what the fuck? She also molts a lot. Wow, you smell. She doesn't normally smell. Luna's the one that stinks. Anyway, right. <laughs> Ooh, horrible. Mankoy says, ah, the white cat on a black shirt issue. Yeah, but I've also got a black cat, so... Uh, there was one time I was in the United States of America for work. I'd been there for five days, and I was eating dinner, I was talking to somebody, and then I went, ah, bleh, and pulled one of that cat's hairs out of my mouth. Thousands of miles! And almost a week, and it was still happening. Anyway, Mike uh, Little has done a super chat saying, I don't know what the cat wants, but you should definitely give it to her, lol. I don't think she wanted that, but that's what she got anyway. Right, okay. Phew. So, how are we looking? We're fine here. We've got a thing cooked. We'll cook another thing. God. It really... Th right, we cannot cook any sausages for now. Let's do another... Don't know if that's lingering or whether she's wiped something on me. It's horrible. Oofed. No. No, Hildy! Put that down. Where's the steak gone? Oofed. Oh, the game, the game, the game, the game. The game, of course, the game. We like to see that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the nice which says, no, stay on this stream. I learned my lesson that time with the Dark Souls boss. Oh, shit, hang on. So now we've, oh, whoops, we've got steak and wheat. And then what, do we just, yeah, steak, wheat, and egg. That's the thing that people like to eat. You know, come on, steak, wheat, and egg. He's probably a fucking cabinet minister by now. I've lost track. Whee. As fast as I can. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Okay. All right, here we go. Will says, is that the one Krupa did for you? No, I did that bloody boss. For fuck's sake. Uh, right. You, Muggins, get in here. Okay, today we need to hustle. We need to really pay attention to this prick, as he needs to get us as much protein as possible. But we could also do with bunging one up there. We can survive another day without fertilizer. Easy. But we need clothing. We need cloth, and we need more meat. So, oh, upgrades, 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 upgrades. Completely forgot about that. In the kitchen, can we... In the pub, I'm not buying another bloody table. Are you absolutely 
off are you off your rocker? Tomato garden. I don't want to I don't want to in, I don't want to speed up the process. It's fast enough. Uh, decorations, increase the client's patience. Let's do that. And then more space in the display. Yeah. Ah, 12. Great. Okay, yeah, so that's great, actually. So what we'll do... Matt Wetton has done a super chat saying, So far today, I've started re-watching Hannibal, received a new sword and two books in the post about dead bodies, brackets, pics in Discord, and now this stream. Johnny, you're clearly a bad influence on me. You're the one posting pictures of books about dead people in the Discord, pal. Oh dear. Anyway, you sent me the Hannibal Cookbook. If anything, you're the bad influence. Right, here we go. Open those shops. Come on, baby, it's time to ruin those perfectly good fabric scissors by stabbing people. Here they come. Here comes here comes the sweating lord. Come on. Come on, you hungry little bastards. Come on. I know, you, I know you're hungry. Ha. In, 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 in. Damn it. No, don't buy what we've already got. Oh, great. Great. Yeah, no, fuck me. Why not? Why not? Let's just start off with a table for four. Smash in. Yeah, what do you want? Ding, ding. Kill, 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 kill. That's not... Ah, oh, you just want a steak. Fine, we can do that. Pricks. <laughs> All right. Come on. I'm not a young man anymore. Mmm. He grunted. Um. Oh, get it in the bloody oven. Get, get it in the bleeding oven. Fake stuff says, what? Was that about me saying, uh, here comes the sweating lord? It is uh, a, actually a Shakespeare quote. <laughs> um, when I was at Eurogamer, a very kind viewer sent me a book of Shakespearean insults, and Here Comes the Sweating Lord was by far and away my favourite. Nick Jeffrey has done another super chat. Did you hear that Mike's saying, Did you hear that Mike's corruption of Luke has grown stronger? Luke streamed building a Lego F1 Mercedes earlier this week. No, I, I'll be honest with you, I love them dearly. They're good friends of mine. I don't follow the, the blow, to, uh, blow by blow of their career that closely but um i'm very glad that that luke's enjoying the formula one it's a great sport in fairness right make us some sausages okay yes 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 this is what we want to kill some people oh god it's really quite visceral isn't it Zega Genesis says Johnny really does have the, the real world attitude of the wait staff down. Uh, I used to work in a bar. It's really warm. Buy the thing, lady. Ah, thank you, Will. Uh, here comes the sweating lord is Richard the Third, Act 3, Scene 1. There we go. Yes, buy the thing. Okay, Hildy, we need some more stuff on the stands, on the displays, really. Okay, clean that. Yeah, there's blood everywhere. I know there's blood everywhere. Woofed. Are you coming in for a fitting, Mom? Please say you are. Damn it, you're not. Okay, uh, rat goes in the oven. Damn it! Who the fuck wants to sit down and eat? Okay, you want st steaky, oniony, tomatoey. I don't even have time to pet the cat and send it off to catch a rat. I haven't time to chop some steaks. I haven't time to uh, use my rake. Aha! <clears throat> go, go, go! Bang! There we are. Lully lully business. Oh shit, we're running out of stuff. Okay, Hildy, that goes in the dumb waiter first. Claire de Bear says, can you remove table? Claire de Bear, 
If I could, do you not think I already would have worked out how to do that and then done it immediately? That smells so good. Right, corpse. Uh, yeah, go on, we can have that one up, up there. Go on, up there, up there. All right. <laughs> Alex Simkins says, bang, and the dirt is gone. I love you, kitchen gun. Bang, bang, bang. Can you tell him I find that the level's a little stressful? <laughs> Does that show? Do, are you getting that? Clean, clean, man, clean. Clean. Make that woman a garment as well. Why not? Can you imagine playing this game, unlocking all the tables? Why would I fucking bother? Fucking... As fast as I can. Fuck off, Hildy. Right, you there. I know you've been waiting a long time. Buy this and get out. I like this colour. Oh, she's unhappy, is she? Oh, in fairness, I've just made exactly what she's wearing. <laughs> oh, well, sod it. Any more? Any last minute seating? Good fucking hell. Uh oh. Oh. Here comes this guy. I forget whether he's a, a guy we need to not kill or a guy we need to kill. We'll find out. <laughs> the nice switch says, it's Dr. Robotnik. Finally, a decent place where I can buy some large trousers. But good lord. Cough, cough. How did it cross their minds to put a tailor shop upstairs? Ah, my chest, the pain. Cough, cough. What? Oh, no way. What was that noise? It sounded like an earthquake. <laughs> Hildred, Hildred, hurry. The nice witch says, Eggman, oh no, he'll never get the Chaos Emeralds now. <laughs> Claire de Bear has done a super chat saying, Mummy Bear, brackets a retired tailor, is not happy with how you are using those pinking shears. She's just phoned me to super chat this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Bear. I'm sorry about the pinking shears. Oh, Stephen Paul says I had to drop off briefly. Did Johnny answer my blades question? I didn't. Was that a super chat? It doesn't matter if it was or it wasn't. Uh, because I will answer it now. Uh, you should be excited for the new Blade series. Obviously, I'm not in all of the episodes, so I haven't seen all of them. But the stuff I've been a part of and the stuff I have had an inkling of is wild. There's even... I'm not going to lie. There was even an episode uh, where I went... I honestly thought, have I gone too far? So, look forward to that. A man has hurt himself. He's fallen down the stairs. Oh, we'll have to cook him. What's all the yelling about? I'm trying to get some work done down here. I should go check. There'd better be a good reason for this. Oh! Oh my god! It's Mr. Gilbert! My dear! Hurry, let's take him inside. His blood sugar must have been low, the poor fellow. Low, low blood sugar? Really? How did you come to that as a conclusion? He's as heavy as a horse. It's the first thing that came to my mind. Um... JP Corkery says, how is she supposed to carve up all these people with all that bloody noise going on? I know, right? Ridiculous. Uh, and Ruthie Pinion has done a super chat saying, missed the stream on Monday for my birthday. Belated happy birthday, Ruthie Pinion. And just had a bad work call. Uh, please have some money. You're great. Thank you for being an icon. Um, 
that is a very kind thing to say. I don't think I've ever been described as an icon before. But uh, I'm sorry you've had a bad work call, but I hope your birthday on Monday was absolutely wonderful. Besides, you've seen the people in this town. Why did they take him up the stairs rather than into the restaurant? Anyway. No one cares to lend their fellow man a hand. All they care about is their own business. And we are fine with that. I don't even need to get my hands dirty this time. Look at him. He killed himself. I'll take him upstairs with the other one. Oh, we were supposed to have that guy. That was one of our targets from the man who... Um, sends us letters. Well, that's okay then, isn't it, I suppose? Right. You need to dress some mannequins. For the first time since... I like this colour. Uh, since the stream started. Um, we're going to have fully loaded mannequins. The nice switch... I didn't... I, you know what? I thought someone was going to pick me up on this. Uh, the Nice Witch just picked me up on The Man Who. It's a good album. It is. I've been listening... Bizarrely, I've been listening to it quite a lot recently. I still like... I like Travis. Although, actually, they've got a new EP out, and I listened to the first track today, and A, you cannot tell that that is Fran Healy. And secondly, it was boring. CO Tog says, I love these voices. I didn't realise that people can't hear the game. So I've been... Interrupting myself to be like, I love this colour. Not realising that, uh, that people can't hear the thing. So this is a masterpiece. It just sounds like I'm just interrupting myself for no real reason, which is wild. Oh, God, we need more steak. This is this is brutal, everybody, just in case you missed that the last time. Just watch out for this. Oh, it's that bit. It's the, the fucking de-gloving I can't... Blah. Does anyone remember Stowaway? It was, you know, like those Dawling Kindersley interactive um, games? Um, like, this one was set on a ship where there was a stowaway in like a, a, a warship, a ship of the line. Um... And you would click around and, like, it was a cutaway of the ship. So you could be like, I'm going to go look at the gun deck. And people would be like, swab and push out and bang. And then uh, some other people would get hit with splinters from, um, from like, a cannonball and be like, ah! Um There was a scene in the um, the doctor's, well, in the, in the what do you call it, sick, sick bay? Uh, where someone was having a, their leg amputated. And it was just like a... Uh, uh, it was like um, just a, an animation of this doctor being like <laughs> <laughs> through a leg while someone was like bleh, bleh. it was amazing. I wonder if I can find that. I wonder if I can get that running on this computer. That's one to look into, I think. Because uh, I played that and I really liked it as a kid. But I remember one time we were in like Curry's or PC World or something. And there was a little boy who kept playing the leg amputation thing and made his sister cry. She did not like it, and he just kept on playing it. All right, you go catch a rat. I'm going to make more something. Recipes. What's what's sausagey and expensive? <laughs> Sex, I suppose, if you did, from certain people. Uh, let's make whatever this is. No, not steak. We need sausages. Captain Shiny is on a super chat saying, I'm starting to wonder if the delightful duo put formaldehyde into the window... Uh, body to keep it fresh because surely it should have started to fall apart by now although that might ruin the taste a very very good question right oh yeah we've also got some fertilizer again so we'll do that I don't want to do a whole mixed grill ah let's just do onion sausage tomato it's it's it costs a lot Dr. Branga says was the one playing the leg amputation you perchance no I, I was not I was just an innocent bystander um, 
in any case, I don't have a sister. So Aiden Major has done a super chat saying, may the people ever, wait, may the people be ever flowing. May the people be ever flowing and Hilda be ever chopping. Thanks for all you do, Johnny. Thank you, Aiden. What a terrifying dedication. <laughs> but much appreciated. Right, so. Reese says, are we talking about video games from our childhood that scares scared us? We can do. Why not? Ocarina of Time used to shit me up a bit at, the, at night time. I was a, a bit of a, a wuss with it. I'd always, um, I'd always play the ocarina and make it daytime again. Let's feed the horrible plant then. You have to feed it so much. No, mate. I want more tomatoes. We're running low. I'm gonna need some more onions. Go oh, fuck off. Okay. Oh wait, no, I need you. S no, stay upstairs, you goon. Oh well. Back up you go. Go on. It's good to get the steps in. Yes. The cat has caught a rat. Pickled Dream says the King Kong game for the 2005 remake scared me so much that I despise exoskeleton insects to this day. That film was fucked up, but I remember the game also just being like, "Ugh." Interesting that it didn't have a heads-up display though. You'd have to you'd have to ask the game how many bullets you had left. And it'd be like uh four bullets on backup. It was amazing. Oh, Hildred needs, needs to take the ingredients first, does she? Hildy! They're heavy. More fertilizer for the tomatoes, please. Pet the cat, make it go on the prowl again. Pick some onions, mate. Come on. We're all busy. Except for the boy. The boy's just arsehole on gin. Get me a rat, then. We're so low on meat again. Oh, yeah. Hildy, onions. Onions, Hildy. Thank you. Urgh, the ingredients are still growing. Okay. Right, we're good for that. We're getting there. Okay. Uh, then we'll send these tomatoes down. We're doing well here. I'm getting worried about our meat stocks. I wouldn't be worried if it weren't for the fucking table. Hmm. Uh, we'll make one lasagna, nya, 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 because we're only human. Come on, and then uh, we'll go from there. Don Arlem says, "Love how she goes. They're heavy for three tomatoes, but hurling a body body into a grinder is nothing at all. I know, right? Nothing at all." Okay. Come on. Put it on the thing. Lasagna, nya, 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 nya. As fast as I can. Upgrades. I'm starting to get to a terrifying point. Ovens. Oven? Another oven. Why not? Yeah, I was about to say I'm getting to a terrifying... Oh, we can make more steaks from the steaks table. Yes, please. Um, let's get the oven as well. We're reaching a terrifying event horizon whereby the only thing we can upgrade... Actually, we're all right for a bit, but eventually we're going to have to get more tables. Or just be rich. 
Look at this, third oven. Wow, let's cook a rat in it. Oh, just just in time for Emma Benton to say Plague Tale uh, gave me stress dreams about rats. Yeah, fair enough. Now we just wait. I'm Hildy. I do remember I was playing Dead Space 2 for review and I was playing it with the lights off and the sound up because I was like, I may as well immerse myself. And my housemate came in to talk to me. So I paused the game, put on the main light and I was like, ah, hey, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm just playing this game, blah, blah, blah. And we had a chat and then eventually went, oh, I'll leave you to it. And I went, okay, thanks. I paused the game and kept playing. And he turned the lights out for me, which is a considerate thing to do. And I went, ah, <laughs> like screamed. <laughs> Because uh, he turned the light off and it was scary. Right. Moving there. Come come down. Come on then. Alistair Darklight has done a super chat saying, I bought this game after your last stream and love it, but whenever Hildy starts chopping steaks, I conveniently find something for the husband to do so I don't have to watch her. It's wild, isn't it? It's absolutely... It's really out there. Right, okay. Here we go, everyone. It's just another day at the horrible shop. Today's goals, as ever, try and kill lots of people. You heard me, people outside. Emma Blast says, what a perfect lunchtime stream. Yum, yum, yum. Here they come. I swear to God, if, if I swear to God, if I get a table straight off the bat, I will be livid. Don't you? Ah, oh, they've come in together. Ah, oh, you fucking bastards! There they go. Right, send some rat up for the child to put out on the thing. Ding. Oh, oh, kill, kill, kill. Said the normal person. Oh my god, what do they want? They want fucking every they want all the meats. They want the mixed grill. They want to run me out of business, is what they want to do. Feckless bastards. Come on. Down, down the hull, down the hull, down the hull, down the hull. Mop, 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 mop. Got to up my APM. I'll never go pro with this sort of, this sort of clicking speed. Right, Hildy, the lasagna. We need it up there right now. Uh, you. Uh, I've forgotten his name. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Make thing. Mints, Hildy. Mints. Fucking bastards. Look at them there. I hate them. Yes, yes, yes. You want a fitting? You want a fitting? Ah, oh, tremendous. Just wait in there while I get a good run up with my scissors. All right. I like this color. Blag! Fucking marvellous. Get the rat. There's blood everywhere. You know what? We're not making any fertilizers today. Everything's going in the cellar. Uh, rat goes in the oven. How is it possible the rat control the cook? Moving. All right, look alive, Hildy. We need sausages, babe. Another table! Great! What do they want? What do the bastards want now? Uh, they oh, lasagna, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, who can fault them that? Hildy, Hildy, now, now, no, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, get the fucking mints, Hildy! Come 
Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Wait. Come on. Come on. How is it possible that I can draw the cook? He's sitting in his hat. Take it off and have a look. The chef cook better when the rat pull his hair. How can he cook so nice with a rat sitting there? The rat is sat in the cook chef hat. What make him cook? They got up. It's a rat. Sarah Fletcher says, did I miss the midstream delivery yet? You know what? There was actually uh, a very real danger of there being a um, a delivery midstream today. But uh, uh, thank... Oh, crap, crap, crap. No, there's nothing on the racks. Oh, fuck. Black. Um, so, man, so... Barry Wrongleg says, I haven't seen Ratatouille. Is this an actual song from the film? Or are they just stress improvising? Neither. It's an Adam Buxton song that I find very, very, very funny. Oh! Look at this guy. Oh, I want a pie. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. I've actually got to make something. Right. You know what? Just get a steak. The nice which says the Ratatouille song is up there with the Sausages song. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, I cannot believe I've got customers waiting at the racks. Sausages. I want to eat my lovely sausages. He's got a lot of different types. I've got rat skewers in the oven. Thank you, Emma. Silly me. Go on, fuck off, mate. No, no more people to, to make clothes with? Moving there. Ugh. Oh. All right, day. Uh oh, <gasps> here he comes. Oh, Hildred, Hildred, I've brought you some beautiful flowers. Flowers, for me. Oh, why, thank you, Peter. Such a, a sweet gesture. No one has ever given me flowers before. I always used to co collect flowers for me mum. Before she... Don't you think about that? Come on, have some fucking gin. <laughs> Peter, stop yelling. She's right in front of you. Maybe he's hard of hearing. I don't know. Would you like to eat something? No. I just wanted to give you the flowers. Because you've been really kind to me. I shouldn't tell you this, but I must now go to the harbour to help an old man to fish. Maybe he will pay me if I do a good job. That is good news, Peter. I'm happy for you. But why shouldn't you have told me that? He asked me not to tell anyone. I don't know why. But I trust you, Hildred, and I know you can keep this secret. Why, you're a brick wall missus. I must go now or I'll be late. Bye-bye. Thank you again, Peter. Now go and be careful. Well. Straight in the bin with those, I see. Cruel, Hildy. Oh. Upgrades. Wait, we've got a letter. We've got a letter. Okay. Select a mail to read. M8. Oh. It's a letter from mate. Oh, God. Does anyone remember how I did the voice for this? I don't remember. Well, this is kind of... Uh, I don't even like this. I feel like it might have been. 
blah, 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 blah. Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying this game is inadvertently revealing the secret ingredients of the Greg's steak bake. Child, flowers, gin, wheat. Um, I, I, I. Will says French accent. Pretty sure it wasn't, but fuck it, why not? I do apologize for not contacting you sooner. A dear cousin of mine died recently. It was a great tragedy, for I was madly in love with her. I wept for days after learning about her tuberculosis. I remember fondly the days spent with her in my youth. Her exhilarating fragrance that drove me crazy. Her translucent summer clothes that left very... Her translucent summer clothes that left very little to the imagination. Well, for fuck's sake, Will says in caps. Good news, now we can help them with the letter. God damn it! Uh, Lately, her sickness had grown worse. The guff was tormenting her. I cannot even begin to imagine what it feels like to know you are dying. If only I had that, 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 that. If only I had had more time to spend with her, I probably would have asked for her hand in marriage. She be- she received a big funeral ceremony. Many people came to express their love for her. I don't know where it's going now. It's going to we go to Mexico. I don't know. I sp- I spent some time in the burial chamber, standing at the foot of her coffin, and I have to be honest with you, when no one was around, I cut out a lock of her golden hair. I'm holding it close to me now as I write this letter, and somehow I feel closer to her. I'm in an awfully foul mood. Is the time ripe to drown my sorrows in food? Maybe not. Two victims are still not enough. Inconsolably... G. Well, there you go. Um, uh, okay. Um, I mean, he's like, is the time ripe? This guy's ripe. This guy's been here forever. Um, Emma Byrne has done a super chat saying, I've played this game so much since your last stream that I pretty much never worry about running out of meat. P.S. If you can make the sign in front of the pub swing ten times, you get an achievement. Amazing. How do we get out there? Hmm. Oh, that's a point. Revolver Rock says thanks. We can probably figure out who you are now. Bye. Okay, right. Oh. We need to cook. It's really warm. Daily Profit, 69. Nice. No tables. Okay, I guess we're going to make tomatoes really fast. And also onions. Sure, anything to stop us having to unlock tables. When I have to buy more tables, I will buy more tables. I promise you all. It's going to be painful, but I'll do it. (laughs) Oh, zoom out or scroll across the screen. There's a zoom out. There's a zoom in. No, that's, that's the wrong button. Ahem, <clears throat> I'm out of fertilizer. Where's the sign outside the pub? There's a zoom in or zoom out? <gasps> right click! Holy shit, why did no one tell me about this? <gasps> it oinks! It oinks! Oink! Uh, well, that's fun, look. Oh, look. Sewage. Sewage. The strit. The upstairs of the strit. <laughs> don't know what's wrong with me. So much. Oh, in fairness, right, there are no neighbours that can see into this room. Fair enough. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Uh, so, let's see. We need to cook more things. We were doing something with a sausage. (laughs) Let's do this. Ah, Addy, are you okay? It's on Super Chat saying, Hey, Johnny, 
I officially passed probation on Monday, so have some money as a thanks for all the support during my job search. Congratulations! I mean, like, honest to God, like, I cannot imagine you ever failing probation. Um, you are a very lovely person who seems to just genuinely care about things, which I presume includes doing a good job, so... Um, well done you for absolutely smashing it, I am sure. Uh, and I hope you're taking some time to, to celebrate. I'm taking some time to cook a rat. Now I just wait. Oh. Uh, let's see. We've got lots of steak. Let's cook one thing with steak. We'll do steak potato onion, why not? Did I miss a super chat? Hang on. Oh, I did! Uh, CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying, Did you hear that NASA is going to start sp sending cows into space soon? The stakes have never been higher. Ugh. Uh, Addy says, oh, thanks. It's my birthday this Sunday, so I'm going away uh, with the soon-to-be fiancé. Fucking yeah! What a week! Casually smashing probation. Coming away with soon-to-be fiancé. Yes, please. Delightful. Happy birthday for Sunday, buddy. CookieCat94 says, presumably about the joke, it could have been worse. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? That smells so good. What? Oh, fuck! I cooked something that can't be cooked. What? What do I do with it? Was there a bin? I can't believe I'm concerned about trash. What do I do? Oh, it goes down here. Well, fuck. What was I trying to make? I was trying to make... Steak, potato, onion. What did I do? Did I not do steak? Oh, did I do sausage? Did I waste sausage? I did. Shit. Stack. Not wheat. Put the wheat down. Potato. Steak and potato. And steak and, steak and potato and onion. Honestly, Johnny. There's a bin by the eggs, is there? Oh, the sink! Do I need to put this in the sink? No, it doesn't need to be cleaned. Okay, just putting it back down there apparently works as well. I used sausage. Curses! Right, I'm actually going to leave that down here. That smells so good, she says. Oh, fucking hell, CookieCat94 says, so you're saying it was the worst combo. You're the worst person in the room. <laughs> You're not Cookie Cat 94. You're really nice. That's the problem. Expressive Depressive has done a super chat saying off topic, but happy Bojo resignation day, everyone. Yeah, fuck that fucking guy. I hope they tear one another apart trying to um, win the leadership contest. I hope it's fucking excruciating for them. Although, there is also a big part of me that's like, Look, whatever fucking whatever the hell's going on, can we just sh shut up about it and get it sorted? So somebody, somebody can try and tackle the obscene cost of living in uh, in the UK at the minute. But hey ho, um, Seth Strife has done a super chat saying throws money at you. Shut up and take my money. All right, thank you. I will. This is me. I'll shut up for. I'm going to give you 20 seconds of I've shut up. Starting now.
I'm a brick wall mister. There we go. Right, so we've got bases loaded. We need to send the cat out. We've got we've got some meat. I think we just gotta open the shops. Here we go. Oh, I'm a brain wall, mister! Dan Kelleher says, is there a TV on in the background? No. You can probably just hear people talking outside. The window is ajar. Come on. In you come, you feckless bastards. Here comes one. Up he goes. Meanwhile, get in the pub. Get in my tavern. If you sit down, I will fucking kill you where you sit. Not an idle threat. Oh, you bastards! Right. Bing! Ah! The old classic sausage tomato onion. Dan Keller says, wasn't a complaint, just wondering if I was hearing things. Put it on the tray. It puts the sausage on the tray... Or else it gets the hose today. Come on. Put the fucking sausage in the oven. Metal Magpie has done a super chat saying, Your Insta stories yesterday made my day. I was enjoying how little Boris Johnson was enjoying his day. What can I say? Emma Blass has done a super chat uh, saying, Have you seen the Ratatouille TikTok musical? What? The Ratatouille TikTok musical. It was genuinely pretty good and they raised over $2 million for the Actors Fund during lockdown. No, that's news to me. Wow. Jack Ironside says, After four years of working nights, I'm now moving on to days. Yay! So here, Johnny, have some money. Congratulations, Jack. That's great news. Oops. Oh, yeah. This guy. How are we doing on veg? Uh, we could do with some more fertilizer. I don't want to, but I feel like we should. Alex B says, Jesus Christ, that's a terrifyingly good Buffalo Bill. Yes. Thank you very much. Look, here they come. Fucking scroungers. They're not scroungers, they're paying customers, but you know what I mean. As fast as I can. Uh, let's do something with a steak, eh? Fuck it. Fuck it. That's all we need sometimes. Steak goes in there. It places the steak in the oven. Good. No tables. Don't. Fuck. You just see them coming in like a pack of fucking... I'm going to hold on to this steak. These look like plain steak wankers, don't they? What do they want? What do they want? Boy, tell me. Ah, they f ah sausage and wheat, is it? Ooh. Nice one. Oh, crap. I need to make more clothes. Lotion at the basket. <laughs> Will says, slough them up, boys. <laughs> God. I've only seen that scene. I haven't really seen what show that comes from. So it was really quite upsetting to watch. I was like, I don't understand what's happening and it's nasty. Moving there. Go on, give him the schnitzel. I'll give him something to schnitz about. Not sure what I was going for then. I did see a meme that really made me giggle the other day where it was somebody had expanded the range of uh, how thoroughly a steak can be cooked. So um, it was rare, epic, <laughs> legendary um, on the, the rare side. 
And then on the other side, after well done, it was congratulations, which I thought was very, very funny. Okay. So, man, so. I need a piece of fabric. Emma Byrne says, hold off feeding them as soon as possible so the boy gins them. That is, A, the most bizarre super chat I have ever received if you read it out of context, but also a very, very good point. Um, yeah, make them wait, then give them gin, get them a little soused. £64. <gasps> and a new male! M9. All right. Okay, uh, let's try another one. What what voice should we do now? Ah, oh, Adio OK says, I'm off for an early birthday dinner with a friend. Have a lovely rest of the stream, you bunch of absolute legends. Have a lovely birthday dinner, Addy. Um, I hope your food is delicious and it doesn't contain any people. And uh, if you like gin, I hope they bring you gin. Oh, no, I'm not doing Welsh. I can't do Welsh. Uh... Bismuth, bin bag, South African, Jesus Christ, no. I can gin them while I wait for the oven to cook, apparently. Oh, okay. Cow cowboy, says fake stuff. Um, all right, fuck it. Uh, oh, God, Dan Kelleher says Boris Johnson. I don't think anyone wants... I mean, I, I do do quite a good word. No, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Hugh says, as a Welshman, I'll give you an allowance to use Welsh. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It sort of, sort of points like this. Dear friends, <laughs> here is some information on the third target. This time it is a lady, so I suggest you be extra delicate. Her name is Yvonne Laroche, a wealthy woman married to one of the richest men in the city. I saw her for the first time when Mr. LaRoche invited me to go fishing on the lake. When we returned from our trip, Yvonne was uh, waiting for us with her friends beneath a huge flower-adorned gazebo. They were sipping tea. I was immediately struck by her skin, uh, uh, white as the moon. Such an elegant and graceful woman, with a certain pride. Her, I need to hunch more, don't I? Uh, with a certain pride. Her, her husband told me that his wife ran a beauty shop selling lotions, scents and skin creams. Take what I am about to tell you as advice. Never buy a thing from her. To save, skimp on raw materials typo there to save or skimp to save skimp to, uh, to save skimp on raw materials lady laroche uses scraps and dangerous chemicals yet of all this is well packaged and sold as premium quality cosmetics i do not know if i admire her <laughs> entrepreneurial spirit uh, but one thing is for certain i would like to taste her i i, I would like i would like to taste her I, w I want her for my banquet. Handle her flesh with care. I'm always watching you. Sincerely, Jay. It went a bit down in, down downhill at the end, didn't, I? didn't it? Oh, well. Okay. Lady LaRoche. La I'm in a La Ro rush to get started on the next day. Day. What do we need? Uh, we need tomatoes and onions. H3LK5, which I suppose you could say as Helks, has done a super chat saying distressingly good accent work. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Wow. All right. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. There I go again. Turns out pretending to be a Tory makes me fucking bilious. <laughs> <laughs> Defect says, downhill at the end. Sounds spot on. Very good. All right. How many eggs do we have? We've got two eggs. So if we don't deliberately cook any egg recipes, I don't have to feed the pigeons anything. 
So we can we can afford one more bit of. You're a useless plant, and I hate you. Hildy, we need. Oh god, we need everything. Huh? This is why we're having to rely more heavily on rat in our menu. A pie or a meatball? What will be your destiny? I have one set of egg ready to send down. I do! Thank you, Lucentheus. Holy shit. Oh, Hildin. Come on, Hildred. Ah, oh, man, the sausage grinder doesn't give us many sausage. Eh, I mean, it's fine. Bang! Look, give the fucking eggs. Give me the eggs. They're about to bleed an etch. Hildred needs to free the elevator. Emma Bone says, I mean, the takeaway customers like rat. They do. They, they really do. Uh, Neko the Kitty says, has our flower brick wall popped back up after the fishing trip of doom? Not yet. More tomats. And then we can... Oh, we don't really want more tomats. We need more onion. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Okay. Emma Blast says, honestly, put enough gravy on it and I'll gladly eat rat. I'd try eating rat. I mean, I like rats a lot. I think they're great. But, meh. It kind of it just feels a bit hypocritical of me to be like, yes, I'll eat meat, but not that meat. I don't eat people. God fucking damn it. I walk into these scenarios every single time, don't I? Okay. Upgrade time. I mean... <sighs> Fuck... They shit a lot. Increase the pigeon's hatching process. Oh no, I'm going to have to buy another table. God damn it. Unless I can... Oh, oh, don't worry. I can spend it all on clothes. Evil designer. Bloody landlady. Gourmet chef. Bloody landlady. Doled up. The undead bride. Let's give it a let's give it a bloody landlady, eh? Bloody landlady. Oh, look at her! Look at her in her new clothes. Hey, eh? thank God! I thought for a second that I was just gonna have to buy loads of new fucking. Oh, new uh, new fucking tables. Oof. Right, do more sewing. And Hildy, you've got a rat to cook. And then we'll do... Dan Kelleher says, Can you all please shout at me to go and finish my mid-year review nonsense, which is already late. I can't be asked, but don't want to go piss my boss off. Dan, listen. You know and I know that there's no real material way for me to be able to find out if you are still watching this stream. But, um, I, I want you to stop. I need you to go finish your mid-year review stuff, okay? It's that simple. Just go, go do it. Um, because for every minute you stay, uh, I will just end up resenting you more. And then if we were ever to meet and you were like, oh, hey, my name's Dan, I'll be like, oh, yeah, is it now? And then bang, a kick in the shins. A kick in the shins from me to you in the shin. Oh. Go do it. I'll be proud of you once you've done it. Excuse me, cat. I need you to go catch more free food. My little flea bag. Right. 
We need to cook something. You know what, this is... I'm getting worried about the meat. <laughs> I'm getting worried about the meat. Yeah, how about some meat? Fuck it, we'll make one delicious sausage dish. Dish. Gary Choices, I'd enjoy a kick in the shin from you, Johnny. Is that weird, lol? It's not the most normal thing you've ever said to me. I'll, I'll definitely say that much. Does the... Do we get to see the cat come back in? I've never noticed. It kind of just popped up each time. And it's been like, I've got a rat now. Oh, I'm a rat catchy mister. I kind of want to find out, but also I want to open up for the day. Because the bases, they are loaded. Oh, well, they kind of are. No, I actually want the cat to come back. Revolver Rock says we're talking bone bruising karate kicks here, right? Oh, yeah. You know, originally roundhouse kick wasn't really ever delivered above the waist. I mean, shin on shin contact isn't great. Or, or foot on shin contact isn't great. It'll, uh, it'll come back after a minute, but only if you go to another floor. Whoa! You see how fast that cat moved? Holy shit! James Ab Abge says, Going to go get some outside time, then finish planning tonight's Blade session. The crew have been captured and must play as the group of lovable scamps they adopted. Later all. That sounds thrilling. Well done. That sounded really sarcastic, but it actually wasn't. Right. You know what? Actually what I'm going to do... I'm going to pet the cat again so the cat goes to find a rat. Meow, meow. Alex B says Van Damme has a lot to answer for regarding roundhouse kicks to the face. Yeah. Although it's a like if you can if you can make a clean roundhouse to the face in competition karate, it's it's an instant win. It's a full it's a full ip on, so you just win. Um my instructor once tried to um, uh, kick me in the face. We were fighting in a tournament, and I managed to get my arm up in time. Uh, but his sort of his, I got my arm up. My instructor was so fucking good. I had no chance ever of beating him ever, especially since I wasn't really good at the actual kumite bit. But uh, he went to um, he went to kick me. I managed to just about block it, but he kind of like the ball of his foot kind of connected with my cheek. And then his big toe kind of went hot and hooked into my eye. Um, I shut my eye and it wasn't hard or anything, but it was uh, just enough, just enough to give me a tiny bruise on my, just my eyelid. So I, it was t technically a black eye. In actuality, it just looked like I was wearing eyeshadow. People were like, are you wearing eyeshadow on one eye? I was like... No, actually, I got kicks in the face, but you're not going to believe me if I tell you that. So it was, uh, it was pretty, it was quite funny actually. We cat got another rat. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So I'm gonna just pop this rat in the oven. Perfectly normal thing to say. And then we'll take a five to seven minute break, if uh, if you do not mind. Um, I'm gonna freshen up my drink, and. Uh, uh, probably go to the toilet and you can do whatever it is you want to do uh, in the next five to seven minutes uh, that will enhance your enjoyment of the rest of the stream perhaps perhaps you would like a snack or perhaps you're thirsty or you need some stretching and blah 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 um, go do that and then I'll be back and then we'll all be back um, if you're not going anywhere here comes five to seven minutes of a picture of my dog and some smooth jazz so BRB Love you very much. Bye.
Hello everyone. Was that was that even five minutes actually? Did I come back too early? That was like three minutes, wasn't it? Shit. Alright, well I won't do anything interesting for a couple of minutes then. Let's see. Oh, I've got a super chat actually. I will read that out. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, the super chat says it's from For Pete's Sake saying, So happy I caught the stream. I have to ask though, Johnny, what's it? <laughs> I'm actually going to struggle to read this. What's it going to. What's. Uh, I have to. Mm, I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. God damn it. Was that that that's been like five minutes surely hi hello <laughs> fuck hello everyone welcome back to this live stream here on youtube.com forward slash johnny kiedini i am johnny kiedini and i have a super chat to read it's from for pete's sake and <laughs> says so happy i caught the stream i have to ask though johnny what's it like to be amazing have a glorious voice and look like a gorgeous viking i hope that's not weird it's not weird it's very flattering but i am very bad with praise <laughs> Uh, that's a lovely thing for you to say. Thank you very, very much. Um, not that, not that I agree with those assessments. To answer the question uh, at face value, it's all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, uh, I do like my voice actually. I, I, it's I, I feel like my voice has a nice timbre, timbre, bra. Um, anyway, thank you for a super chat. That was nice uh, and made me go all f funny and weird. Uh, let's get back to um, Ravenous Devils. I hope your break was lovely. Let's see now. Where are well, we're all set, aren't we? We got rats on the rats on the skewers. Uh, we got clothes on the mannequins. We got man in the mannequin shop. We got several corpses now. In here, we're good to go. All right, let's open them up, and let's open up this beer. Achievement unlocked stocked shop. Wonder what that means. Probably that I'm good at my job. Come on, in you come. That's it, you look hungry, don't ya? Don't ya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Buy yourself a rat skewer. You there, sir. You look like you want to come straight in here and get murdered. I mean, have a bespoke suit made. Damn. No, off the rack for you then. Here they fucking come. Here they fucking come. They're walking so close together, you know they're in cahoots. No, it was this guy! Fuck you. God damn it. Ugh, and I, I was right about those two, but I didn't see that fucking guy coming. Oh, whoops. Just put that down. Ah, oh, great. What do they want? Uh, hang on one sec. Michael A is on a super chat saying, lol, can't take a compliment, are you me? <laughs> also glad to be in, uh, not in the VOD squad for once. Thanks for being an inspiration to BDNBs and everyone. Michael, that's really lovely. Thank you very much. And uh, I might be you because no, I cannot take a compliment. Um, all right, they want the schnitzely thing. Put it on the thing, Hildy. Thought there was someone up there. Sometimes you just get a you just get a you just get a feeling that there's a potential murder victim upstairs, you know? Right, how do I get the boy to gin them? Oh I can gin them while the ah, oh, I can gin them while the oven's cooking. That's what you meant. Yeah, she's gonna gin them all up now. Yeah, gin, 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 gin them, gin them! That was maybe too much. 
It will warm you up. Oh my god, that's a game changer. I don't fear the tables anymore. Look at that. Look at that. They're going to be thrilled. Sarah Graham is on a super chat saying, Stop! <laughs> Stop praising me! Oh no! Sarah Graham is on a super chat saying, What a delightful experience watching you stream is. You're an absolute joy. I shall wrap myself in your world as a deference in dismal times. That is the most poetic super chat I think I've ever received. Thank you very much, Sarah. That's lovely. Um, uh, and you know what? Streaming actually helps me feel less weird in a, in a world that feels very odd and not nice. So... Uh, we're both getting something out of this. Um, thank you very much. And Cinderil is on Super Chat saying, Got the keys to my new apartment today, so I'm celebrating. Here's an attempt to share the joy. Congratulations um, on the new apartment. That is extremely exciting. Uh, there's nothing quite like that first night in a new place, is there? Oh, crap. We're out of clothes on the rack. Oh no, are we going to have to... We are, we're going to have to make... You know what, uh, Hildy, put them back down. Put them back down. Just put the rats back upstairs. Um, Something about the first night in a new place. Eating takeaway on the floor because you've got naff all else. <laughs> it's just, it's a weird, very specific joy. I remember each of my first nights in all of the places I've lived in London, which is telling because I've lived in a lot of them. Hello, madam. I'm just going to put this on here. Don't worry about a thing. You can't worry about a thing anymore. Okay, Hildy, we could do with some something. Why don't you coddle a cat for a minute? There's blood everywhere. He can play, he grunts so much when he picks up the bodies. But you know what? Everyone else is just like, just getting on with it. Let's get on with it. Hey, talking to bodies. There's one. Uh, let's let's do a lasagna. Nya, 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 nya. People love it. Come on. Oh wait, what's the table want? Fucking table. Do they want mints? They want mints. They don't want mints. They want steak and potatoes. That's easy enough. Steak. Potatoes. Steak and potatoes. Ah. For Pete's sake, has done another super chat saying, feel like I just need to send another to apologize for making you awkward. You and the community you built are awesome, so thank you all. Do not worry, it was a it was a good awkward. It was a kind of like genuinely flattered sort of deal. So thank you. It's very kind. Oh shit, they're waiting for clothes. At least we're ginning up the table real good. Get back down there, Hildy. Put the fucking stuff on the thing. Put the fucking clothing on the mannequin. Don't you buy that from her? Yeah, don't buy that from out from under her. She's waiting on clothes. Oh, he did as well. He was like, excuse me, I want to buy that. Fucking arsehole. Hildy, Hildy, serve them. Get her some... Ah, oh, she's leaving. She's leaving. She's waited too long. Moving there. Body goes down the thing. We're fine for vegetables, except potatoes. All right. Okay. Uh, Hildy, there's a rat for you to cook. Ah! Hugh says Hildy both serves the customers and serves the customers. Ooh, wonderful. Love it. Yes, we've got three bodies. That's one for each machine, baby. Okie dokie. Woof! Daily profit, £70. Okie dokie. Cook the rat. Oofed. It places the lasagna in the basket. Put the fucking lasagna in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. That smells so good.
Fake self says, will we get to see the chopping? Yes, you will. Put the fucking Xanya in the basket. <laughs> All right, we're going to go from left to right. So we've got the mincer. You know what that looks like. Oh, sorry about the stuttering there. Shaws the Great and Powerful has done a super chat saying, Johnny, that has to be the most poetic super chat I've ever received. Corvus Albright. Am I a joke to you? Okay, apart from the literal poems that I've been sent as super chats, that was the most lyrical prose I've ever been sent. There we go. Stephen Clamett says, I could never watch the steak prep animation. That just unsettled me. I will let you know when it's coming. Just horrifying. Uh, what are we doing up here? Hang on. Got to dress another mannequin. The basket. I like this color. Sure you do, buddy. Uh, um, oh, criminy. Hang on. There we go. Sorry. I was just checking the stream was still running. Oh. <sighs> Okay. All right. If you don't like watching the steak animation, now would be the time to look away because we're going to see it. And yeah, it's pretty fucking wild, isn't it? Okay. It's just so much. Friends of the Forest says, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Keep Calm and Reload says, wow, did I ever tune in at the wrong time? Yikes. Manuel Rivero says, that's some quality knife there. Indeed. Right, we're all done. If you weren't watching, we're done. Okie dokie then. Let's just send out the... Oh, we need to refill these things. And we know what that means. Lasagna, nya, 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 nya. Wink. Mark Russell says, Hello, Johnny. So glad you returned to this game. I don't know what I'd call it if it weren't a game. Maybe training exercise? Probably not. What I find weird, right, is the whole person ends up in the tub, in the steak animation. But she pulls out two gobbets in particular. She sort of like degloves their front and then pulls out a gobbet and pulls out another gobbet. And then it's like, and the rest of the torso. What are those gobbets? Why is it so important that they go in separately? Hmm? Pfft. Hannah Axelson, who never misses, is always just spot on has done a super chat saying, looking away from the animation would be a missed stake. People will like this, she says. All right, we've done one of them. What else do people like? More lasagna, of course. Lasagna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Lord Infidel says, for the flank steak, Johnny. I like a flank steak. Or the hanger steak, or whatever it is. D. Lornroy says, you would think she'd keep the belly, because bacon. Yep. Yeah. Well, I must say, I'm having an awfully good time. Look at you all out there. Your dinner and you don't even know it. No one's going to tell on us. He's a brick wall mister. <laughs> anyway. Up goes the lasagna. Check on the roof so the cat comes back. Uh, 
Brick wall, mister. Brick wall, mister. Neko the Kitty says, skirt steaks would be a nice compliment to the business upstairs. Oh, very droll. Hey, cat. Oh, fuck off. Give me a rat. Yeah, you little... Yeah. The nice switch says, brick wall, Mr. Pin badges, when? Oh, it's a really good idea, isn't it? Oh, I need to write... Hang on. And let me tab out and make a note. Because I also want to remember... Um, boop, 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 boop. The... Um, Come on, Johnny, use your brain. Use your stupid mouth brain. Also want to remember to do that Dueling Kindersley stowaway game, but I can't find my cursor. Never mind. That's upsetting. Oh, wait, there we go. Stowaway. Brick wall mister. Merch. <laughs> God. Okay. Brick wall, mister. Brick wall, mister. And the, the cat is back. Okay. Okay, and then we got... Plenty, plenty of meat left over. Del Narmadek says, can't watch now, but we'll watch this later while painting my now shockingly competent Skaven. I am, yeah, shocked to my core about this. Apparently the, the Skaven from the new Battle Tome are shockingly, um, shockingly competent. And I don't know what to make of it. They've only ever been shit when I've played them. And I have, you know, it's been so long since i played Skaven. I have the old new Codex or Battle Tome, whatever, and I've never used it. So anyway, right, we got some cooked rats. We've got a cat that's been sent out on a mission. The bases are more or less loaded. The mannequins are loaded. I don't want to do this, but I am going to unlock. I can afford another one. I'm not I'm not buying two new tables at once. I'm just not. We've got two tables now. Oh fuck it. No I I am. I'm going to hate this. I'm going to hate this, but I'm doing it. Here we go. No new clothes for the husband. Thank you. Oh look, only two people can sit here. It doesn't change a thing, does it? Anyway, right, whatever. Okay, fake stuff says buy one at a time. Too late, fake stuff. Here we go. Come back, the cat. Little bastard. Hildred's Tavern. Come back, cat. Okay, I should actually cook some things. Oh, no, wait, hang on a minute. I've got two skewers of rat. We're fine. Put that mince down, Hildred. Here we go. Fucking bring it on, you pricks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sausage and egg. That's what they want. They want a little sausage. <laughs> They worn a little leg. They seen the oven, so you know what they're getting now. It's a fucking gin. Oi, Brickwall Mister, order up as fast as I can, and they want steaky wheaty egg. Oh, hang on, hang on, sausage and egg is ready. 
You know what? With the gin hack, it's so much easier. Sausage and egg is ready. Steak. Oh, shit. Kill someone. Oh, there's no one there. <laughs> okay. Oh, fucking three tables. All right. Fuck this. I, I actually regret it. Wait. Boy. Why haven't you served? Boy. Serve them. Serve them the food of the, the, the thing. Give it to them. Kill someone, damn it. Okay. Come, come on, come on. Come on. Fucking put it in the oven. And then run those rats upstairs. Right. Get up. Get right. Get the rats in the thing. <laughs> get the rats in the thing. Aha! Click, 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 click. Dead, 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 dead. Great. Hildy. There's some people here that need ginning. Gin them up. Gin them up, Hildy. Dining alone, are we, madam? You sure you wouldn't like a, a newly fitted suit instead? Uh, also, help me, God. I'll put that up there. Uh, okay, Hildy. Back down to the oven. Their food's ready. Oh, shit. Might need to gin these folks twice. Can you? I don't know. It smells so good. Can it, Hildy? <laughs> Clean up that blood, dickhead. <laughs> Taters, we need them. Benjamin says you really don't need to gin them yourself. The boy does it for you automatically when they're... Oh, yeah, he's doing it. When their patients hit zero. Yes. But if you feed them as soon as possible, they're not as satisfied as if you had freshly ginned them. Okay. Sow some things, you fuck! EA122 yeah, says Johnny is giving this a proper sideline football manager bellowing instructions vibe. Thank you! Oh, my pretty wall, mister! Nice, which says, I would love to be freshly ginned. Uh, you know what? Oh, great, another... Wow, that was as fast as you could go. Jesus Christ, Hildy. Kill, kill, kill! What do they want? What do they want? They want oh, it's another steak and patat, is it? All right, well, I'll give them a steak and patat. They give him, you just, you get, you hit him with the steak. You hit him with the patat. <clears throat> Sausage and egg. Okay, uh, we've got some rat skewers to go upstairs, I think. The quality of the takeaway food has really gone downhill, hasn't it? I wouldn't mind a f I wouldn't mind a fresh little ginning actually. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I should have ginned them, but I've not ginned them. Clean up. Clean up on aisle. The only thing you've got to do right now, dickhead. So man, so. Four pounds fifty. Is that all we fucking got? You fucking assholes. JP says, by my point in this game, the takeaway food was pretty much all rat. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the exact same way. Content warning, if you don't like the steak animation, I'm going to pop it. I'm not going to stay to watch it, actually, but just, in, just so you know. I might, it might pop up again, so. Whew. Cheerful Spider says, pom de rip and tear. Very good. Ah, oh, Christ, we can afford another table after today. We're doing it, though. Oh, Hildy sound at work. Get out of my fucking shop. There we go. Oof. Oh, <gasps> here we go. Oh, look, Hildy sat at the table now. That's nice. Good morning, Hildred. You know, you know you have to say it like that because they're run together as one word. So it's good morning, Hildred. Hi, Peter. What are you holding? It's an old storybook. 
I'm taking it to the market to sell it for some money. <laughs> I can't read anyway. A young man like you can't read. Come here, give me that. I'll read you something. Then you can sell it if you still want to. Baddy Wrongleg says he's still swaying. How much gin did you give him? Enough. Hem, hem. Once upon a time, two brothers lived happily with their parents. However, they didn't have much money, so the father decided to abandon the brothers in the woods. That's terrible! The brothers were frightened and starving, until eventually they came across a neat house, uh, sorry, a little house in the middle of the forest. To their astonishment, they found that... Are we really just doing this whole story? They, they found that the entire house was made of marzipan. So they started to eat the house ravenously. A marzipan house sounds delicious! All of a sudden, a witch came out of the house. She was really mad. She said, How dare you two little kids jump through my house! In an instant... She captured and imprisoned the two children and decided that she was going to eat them. Please stop, Lady Hildred. This story is scaring me. I don't think I can keep on reading anyway. Some water seems to have dropped on the last page and I can't make the words out. Oh, what a shame. Practice reading. And learn how to write. What do you mean practice reading? You didn't fucking teach him. He doesn't know how. And you'll be able to write your own ending to the story. What do you think? Yes. All right. Thanks, Hildred. I always have fun with you. I'm going to the market anyway to see if they could offer me a good price for this book. Otherwise, I'll keep it. Bye bye. Bye, darling. Fuck off, Peter. She hasn't spoken a word to Brickwall Mister this whole time. What sort of signal's that sending, eh? Eh? <laughs> right, anyway. Muggins, you got some sewing to do. Then we've got some sewing some seeds to do. Very droll. Well done, Johnny. They'll love that. They'll absolutely eat that one up. Mmm. <clears throat> The mannequin's already dressed up. That's what he. That's why he grunted there. Okay, I like this color. Right, how are we doing? Potatoes absolutely rinsed and eggs. So, you know what? We're doing two lots of eggs, two lots of taters. Although we don't really use eggs as much as anything else. We'll do two lots of taters or a lot of eggs. Then maybe we'll feed our mystery friend. Great wall, mister. You need to cuddle that cat. We're definitely doing two loads of potatoes. Yeah, no, two lots of eggs as well. Fuck it. And then one in the mystery plant. Oh, my great wall, mister. <gasps> Here we go. What? Uh, yeah, it is exactly what we thought. What kind of plant are you? Give a man a match and he'll be warm for a few hours. Set a man on fire and he will be warm for the rest of his life. Blah, 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 blah. Laughed at his own joke. Love that guy. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Love it. Uh, fucking great. For Pete's sake, says, are you doing a meet and greet at EGX? I would love to take you for a beer. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know if, he, if meet and greets are going to be back by, by um, the EGX this autumn because, you know... The old, the old coronavirus, but um, 
Uh, I also haven't spoken to EGX about like my involvement. I will be doing, obviously I'll be doing the Ox Venture shows, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything else because I don't work at the company anymore. So I, mu I might be doing meet and greets. I might not. Watch this space, basically. I haven't really thought about it. Um, <laughs> Hugh says, Brick Wall Mister was just me father. Just call me Brick. Amazing. Moving there. Come on, rat goes in the thing. Even sad people have a capacity to bring a smile to your face. For instance, when you push them down the stairs. Oh, for instance, when you push them down the stairs. Wow, that goes intense. Um, right, one more. So we got we got potatoes on the go. Those should go in the dumb waiter, really. Rat skewers. That smells so good. Um. Oh yeah, now she needs to take the potatoes, and then we're gonna make more eggs. Yeah, fuck it, we'll make more eggs. Sausage and egg. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Manuel Rivera says, here I am wishing the plant would tell the bee joke. God. Game of the year. Uh, okay. Eggs nearly ready. Cats nearly ready to go on the hunt. Still need to cook a bunch of stuff. So let's do... Steak! Jesus, fuck. He just yelled at the pigeons. He was like, you guys stink. Okay. Let's see. Steak. What's nice with what's nice with a steak? Um, steak. <laughs> and wheat and egg. Steak and wheat and egg. Of course. Who could forget? Balaganesha BV says, Dear Johnny, just a thought. Did you think a business like this really existed? Uh, no, not really exactly like this. I mean, there was a there was a restaurant in the UK that was caught selling human flesh, I think. Um, but no, not in the kind of... It's on Fleet Street. And they'll kill you upstairs and cook you downstairs sort of way. Oh, people didn't hear about the. It was ages ago, but like, yeah, there was a there was a restaurant in the UK that was found to have sold some human meat. Uh, they were trying they were trying to get rid of a body. It wasn't. They weren't like this will be our source of protein. They were like we're trying to get rid of a body. I'm pretty certain. So there that goes. Anyway, sorry if that was news to all of you. Ah, Zaketa's got a rat. Okay, so we've got as many clothes on here as we can make. Brickwall Mister is going to refill this, so that's great. That base is loaded. We just need to cook a couple more things. So let's do sausage and egg. Because we like doing sausage and egg. Alex Laird 87 is playing Subnautica below zero. Good for them. Uh, 
Come on. Pietro P has, uh, has done a super chat saying, I'll get the vegan schnitzel to hold the egg. Not all cannibalism is vegan. Just saying it could be under the right circumstances. That's all I'm saying. That's all I've ever said, actually, everyone. Here we go. And then we need a tomat. Tom, mom, 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 We've got a sausage and egg in the oven. <laughs> Emma Benton says, oh, here we fucking go. <laughs> JP says, this cannibalism isn't vegan. There's no consent. Indeed. Couldn't be less vegan. Cookie Cat 94 has employed the, the phrase flesh and chips, which is funny. I liked it. Right, people? Just checking on the dog. She seems a little bit listless, but I think that's just because it's a hot day and she is a dog. We're going we're gonna to G up the cat to go... I was about to say fishing. That's not what I meant. And fuck it. We're doing it. This is a fully armed... And operational battle murder site. So now we can just spend all our money on skins. Ah, oh, with another fiver we can make him into a skeleton. The Undead Bride's quite cool. We'll do the Undead Bride before we do the, the spiteful skeleton. Let's put him in his Sunday finest, shall we? There he is, look. What a fancy Dan. Okie dokie. Let's do it. Oh, I remember Benton makes a good point though. That's a skelly pal skin. Damn it. Okay. Open them up. Dan Kelleher says, I mean, mousing is a word. Dan, what are you doing here? Do you want your shins kicked in? Go do your fucking work. <laughs> and you make a good point. But go do your work. In you come then, shit lords. Ah, oh, look. Table for two, is it, dickheads? Look at these two. Yeah, go on then. Sit ye da- Oh. No, I was wrong. In you come. In you come, sir. Ah, oh, fuck off. Oh, he finished his work. Oh, shit. Welcome back, Dan. Oh, that didn't take long. Good job. Shit. Lovely to see you, Dan. Sorry, Dan. Ah, we want a schnitzel, do we? <laughs> God, why am I like this? Steak. Flair. Eggy wig. Avern. I can't believe I didn't realise Dan went and did the thing and then finished the thing. Dan says, "Thank you. I may bring shin guards if I ever meet you, Johnny. Just in case. I promise you, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Put it in the thing. Put it in the thing. Put it in the thing. Get out, Dan. Oh, oh fuck." Oh, fuck. If one of these tables doesn't want lasagna I'm, or sausage and egg, I'm fucked. Clean up, dickbag. Clean up! Okay, uh, you know what? Let's just get a lasagna out of here. Unless, unless... <laughs> yes! Yes! Eat your lasagna, you pricks! <laughs> While I rustle up a sausage and wheat. God, you fucking rubes. You're all the same. Where's my useless shitbag husband? He should be doing some sewing. Bastard. Oh, fuck me. The tables just... They don't stop, do they? Ah, oh, they want the full mix grill. Great. No, I love running out of ingredients, you assholes. Mince. Steak. 
Sausage. Put it in the fucking oven. Right, and then what we're going to do... Then what we're going to do... No, no, no not going to do that. not going to do that. Fuck it. I was going to say we're going to gin them. No, we're just going to get this table out. And get this table gone. Oh, I should have waited. Should have waited. Boy should have ginned them. Boy did gin them. Oh, my God. Brick wall, mister. You absolute legend. Fucking hell. The tailor's business is running, running itself into the ground. I like this colour. Yes, a victim. Ah, uh, oh Christ, where have we got to? Ah, uh, fuck, what even is this? Is that a schnitzel? Serve it. Oh, it's ham and egg or whatever. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, I'm not doing great. Ah, oh, great. They want to they want to clean me out of fine ingredients. They don't give a shit about what they want to eat. Okay, so that's sausage. Then we need tomat. And we need steak. Oh god, but we still need sausage and wheat. Four tables is too many tables. There I said it. Yeah, there. Put them down there, you useless bastard. Uh, we need sausage, and we need to make sausage. You clean up. No, no, don't clean up. Fucking get, get the fucking clothes. This guy's fucking shit. I hate him. Uh, uh, fucking put that down there. Boy, gin them. Boy. Atreus, gin. Jesus, fuck. Gin them, boy. Bl Brick wall, mister, do it. Gin them. Oh, he's going. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, he's voice activated. It's like that shit Tom Clancy game. So, smells so good. Ah, oh, it's not even the right table. It's not even the right table. Gin them, boy. Gin them. Gin them. Gin them. Ah, oh, he's not ginning them. Oi, 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 oi. Clean up, dickhead. Ah, oh, fuck, and we're out of everything. We're out of all food. Cook the rat. Cook it. Cook the rat. Get the rat, Hildy! Don't you uh, him at me. You, you shit muggins. Fucking sew something. Come on. Do I have to do everything around here? Oh, I fucking... Oh, my God. If another table comes in, I'm done for. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. My uh, computer was unhappy with me for a moment. I'm, in case you missed sort of the start of the stream, uh, I am actually streaming this onto my streaming PC from my gaming PC because my Elgato just went bananas at me. Uh, it just stopped working properly. Get out of my shop! Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Here we go. It's a ghost. Oh. This place stinks. Is there anyone here? Oh, it's her. I'm sorry, madam, but I'm about to close. Maybe you could call in tomorrow or perhaps another day. I don't intend to wait any longer. Ex excuse me. Uh, oh, Jack Escape the Box says, is the boy in on the scheme? No. He knows never to go upstairs or into the kitchen. Um, he's kind of, He kind of assumes that they're up to something. But he in the, the last stream, he promised not to tell, saying that he was a brick wall, mister. Or, because of the lack of punctuation, I'm a brick wall, mister. So he's he's sound. He's sound. He's been neglected. She's never, you know, uh, Hildy's never spoken to him, but she's lavishing affections on stupid Peter. He doesn't even know his way. Well, he does know his way around a gin bottle, but like, anyway, whatever. Uh, so no, the kid's not in on it. Anyway, right. Excuse me. Yesterday, I sent someone to pick up my dress. I decided to order something. Just because people s say that you are the best tailor around here. 
and what I get is an awful dress. You shall make me a replacement, free of charge, or I shall have this place shut down. I apologise for the inconvenience. What was the order in your name? What? No, was the order in your name? Yes, of course. No, wait. Yes, of course. I'm Yvonne Laroche. But wait. We know who Yvonne Laroche is. We are supposed to kill her. Is this how you treat all your customers? Just you wait, mate. Oh, Ms. Laroche. It's such an honor to have you here. I guarantee that my clothes are made with the utmost care and precision. Give me a chance to set this right. Just for you, I'll make a new one completely free of charge. Jacob M says, time for some French cuisine. Mm -hmm. But first, please could I take your measurement? Yes, but make it quick. Oh, don't worry. I'll make it quick. Please stand here. While I just... Let me think. Do you like red? Friends of the Forest says, Johnny, is there still a body hanging in the upstairs window? There's like three corpses up there now. Sorry? Yes, you should be sorry. How dare you come in here with such requests? Who do you think you are? She's going to get away, isn't she? Q says, it will be a dress to die for. What are you doing? Help, help. It's a bad habit for you to scream like that. A bad habit. Scream. A bad habit. A bad habit. Screaming. Kids picking up some bad habits, like chewing their fingernails and screaming. <laughs> She's Yvonne, she said already. Uh, help me, please. Ah, Where's your power now? Your insolence. He's committing the cardinal sin. The cardinal sin of being a villain. You don't talk when you could be killing. Next time you want to shoot somebody, don't hesitate, said the villain in Die Hard. Pow, 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 pow. Thanks for the advice, said, said, said John McClane. If you kill me, your life will be ruined. Everyone will come look for me. You better let me go now. I've had enough of you. Jesus! What a pain in the ass. They're all dead now. Hildred must cook these three bastards. Then we just need to take our reward. Kill Mr. J and leave this place. Uh-oh! If what Yvonne said is true, we are in danger now. Okay, I hope the next letter won't take long to arrive. That's a lot of ifs, isn't it? There you go, look, corpses everywhere. Three in there now, actually, and the severed head. Goodness me. Okay, wow, we are on still on, like, bingo meat. We got rat skewers. Okay. Are we making let's make mints. Mark Russell says Yvonne foot in the grave. <laughs> right. You got some sewing to do. We've made the mints. The cat will be back with a new rat soon. I don't really... Oh, you know what? I will make one delicious lasagna. Yeah, 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 yeah. God Convoy has done a super chat saying, Why does this Sweeney Todd sound like Sweetums from the Muppets? I don't make the rules. I just, you know, the, the character spoke to me. Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Uh, says, I wonder what rat tastes like. 
Yeah. It's probably a bit gamey. So you probably like need to soak it in milk for a few hours or something. Lasagna, nyan, 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 yeah. Delicious. Oh, whoops, did I miss a super chat? Oh no, I'm sorry if I missed one. Oh. Uh, I can't see it now. A silent quick death. Oh, a silent quick death. Do you mean good luck or a quick death? Oh shit, no, yeah, yeah, a good, good luck or a quick death did super chat. Uh, and as per usual, uh, it was entirely blank. Um, but thank you very much if you're still watching Good Luck or a Quick Death. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. Even though I just flat out didn't didn't reference it then. That's my bad. Okay, we're low on tomats. So ideal. All right, I'm not I'm not allowed to cook any more lasagna unless people ask for it today, which is dull. Um. Okay, let's hear a joke from the, the plant. Plant says, You know those homicide jokes people keep making? They're killing me. But down, 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 bow, 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 <clears throat> Dr. Branger says Johnny no Seinfeld jokes. Oh. But I didn't even do the joke. Just, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, it's, it's a catchy bass line. Hey, cat's got the rat. Cat works harder than my fucking husband in this game. Sony K says, soak in milk. Is that something people do? Yeah. If you, um... Yeah, if, like, you're cooking rabbit or squirrel or what have you, and it's a bit gamey, just before you cook it, you just soak it in milk for a few hours, and it helps. Upgrades. Oh, skins. Spiteful skeleton. Ton, ton. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, I like him so much more now. Okay, right, so we've loaded the bases um, as much as we can. Let's send out the rat again. Meow. Oops, not upgrades, recipes. What can we cook with mints that is also three stars but won't step on our tomato production anymore? A full mixed grill, no, fuck that. We're going to make some old-fashioned pies. That's all we're going to do. Because you know what? It's fine. Just Man Bun actually says, what does gamey taste like? Um, it's kind of... It's almost like a metallic taste almost like ship Rexford says it's a little off but it won't hurt you yeah it's just like there's just a slightly unpleasant sort of like to it um which can just can be a bit challenging oh fuck no i didn't mean to send that up don't put it out 
You've wasted the food, small boy. That's my fault. That's my fault. Oh, Johnny. Go on, cook some more rat. Okay, open them up. Come on then, you big weird skeleton man. Damn you, brick wall mister. I tried to load a base. That smells so good. It's so nice. Come on then. Ah, oh, fuck. Table for dickhead. Look at these pricks. Come on then. Come on then. Oh, lady, you better be looking for something bespoke, otherwise this business is in trouble. Oh, I take it back. Oh, there we go. No, I thought I knew there was a bell end coming into my shop. Oh, and he just wants steak and potatoes, does he? Great. Get a steak, Hildy. It's not Hildy's fault. It's not Hildy's fault that we're a successful business. Put it down, Hildy. There's blood everywhere. All right, mate. That's probably a good thing. Shows it's worked. Oh, good! Another table. Clean up on aisle, you're a twat. <laughs> Moving there. Oh, you just want a hamburger, do you? Well, at least they're uncomplicated customers today. Ah, fuck off, all of you. Ah, finally, some customers with a refined palate. Lasagna, nya, 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 nya. Oh, Jesus, they're all coming in now. What is this, fucking lunchtime? What am I, a goddamn restaurant? Fuck you. Set up to serve the burger, Johnny. Just calm down and serve the fucking burger. Yeah, Mark Russell says, give him a hand burger. Ho 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 ho! Le mot juste. Someone wants fucking meatballs, eh? Classic. Just one lasagna. Give it to me. Killing a woman. It's easily. Mm hmm. Oh shit, running out of tomats. Angel B has done a super chat saying lasagna, nya, 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 nya. I barely know her. Very good. Britwall Mr. Jensen people. Oh, fuck off, Hildy. Come on, you useless shite. Just another broke nerd says, and now Johnny Chiodini sounds like a right proper cook in the kitchen. So much swearing, lol. Hey, well, you know. Brickwall mister, you better be ginning those folks. Gin them up. Gin them up. Gin them. Gin them, boy. Atreus. Gin. Great. Perfect. 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 The little shite can't possibly go get the thing without um, ginning them. First, so they're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. Maybe you're not ready for that, but yeah, but your kids are gonna love it, etc. etc. Oh, I'm sorry, are you waiting to buy clothes in my clothes shop? I'm a living skeleton, mate. Be right with you, sir. Hmm. Don't you sit down, you shitlords. Fuck! Right. Mm, yeah, no, I desperately need tomatoes. Sausage and egg! Sausage and egg! Sausage? And? Egg. Sausage and egg. 
Last clients. We're looking pretty good. Oh, that guy's pissed off. Oh, fuck off. I've got like three different levels of business to run. And I'm a living skeleton. Get out of my shop, you dickhead. Oh, yeah. Sausage and egg. Okay. All right. Let's grind some mooks up. Come here, you pricks. I swear we're getting fewer customers to murder. I'm, maybe I'm missing a lot every day. It doesn't... Time was. Time was. We had too many. We had too many. I guess the table increases demand. We're shifting more units. That's what we're doing, isn't it? Just fucking hell. I mean, like... Again, look. At, look. Our meat stocks are fucking pitiful. Good God. I like this color. <laughs> so what's everyone having for tea, eh? What are we having for dinner? Uh, content warning for the uh, steak um, <laughs> animation. It's just really, really intense, isn't it? Um, here it comes. Look away now. Oh, Anonymous says, I've seen you miss lots of walk-in meet and greets. Oh, okay. HC Bird says, I had lasagna. Thanks for the inspo. Oh, I haven't made lasagna in ages. I'm good at it as well. Just another broke nerd says... Uh, Johnny or anyone else, what does black pudding taste like? I'm so curious. It's not as meaty as you'd think, given it's made with um, with blood. But it's like, so it's blood, it's like sweated back fat from a pig, minced onion and garlic, um, salt and pepper, really, is sort of your traditional. Um, and it's, you know what, it's just, it's good. Like, it's... Um, I think some people can struggle a little bit with the texture because it doesn't... You're not biting through muscle in the same way uh, as you are with, like, bacon. Or even sausage, which is, like, dense meat. It's just, like... It it doesn't... I mean, it depends how, mu how, hard, how much you cook it. Sometimes it just sort of crumbles. Sometimes you kind of, kind of, kind of... Like, when it's really overly done, you go, like... <laughs> and, like, you chew a little bit. But um, Matt Wenton says it's very umami. Dr. Branger says I, I always taste mushrooms. It is very, yeah, it is very umami. It is delicious, in fairness. And you know what? Like, I think if you didn't know what it was, you would, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't um, necessarily be like, oh, that's made from blood, that is. What we, all right, we're nearly out of tomatoes. So we're going to do two lots of tomatoes. And then we could have some, do with some eggs. Honestly, black, black pudding is, it is actually fairly innocuous. It's fairly mild. So. We're just really struggling on the meat front. Corio Malayam says, I hate onion, though. I, d I mean, I don't even know if there is much onion in there. There could... It's possible there's no onion in there at all, really. For Pete's sake, says, I used to love it, and then I went vegan. Fair. Oh, we got a letter to read. But we've also got so much work to do around the shop. We'll do some work around the shop. And then we'll... Because we've got to send the cat out again. Uh, uh, Hildred needs to free the elevator. It's called a dumbwaiter. Nobody in England... I mean, you are American, this particular character. I was about to say, nobody in America has ever... Uh, no, uh, fucking fuck! Not in America. <laughs> this game does weird things to my brain. Dr. Branger says, it's one of those foods that America doesn't understand, but is actually quite good. Brackets, I am an American in Scotland. There you go. So 
Spoon of Doom says, I was pleasantly surprised about black pudding when I ate it a few years ago the first time in Scotland. Sounds disgusting, but it's actually quite tasty. It is. It's just good. Oh, actually, shit. Hang on a minute. For Pete's sake, um, have you tried some of the vegan black puddings? They are amazing. And, like, some of them are practically indistinguishable from the real thing. Like, I'm not even kidding. Some vegan black puddings are amazing. To the point where I'd happily buy that over black pudding. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we already have tomatoes? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Mark Russell says, Are you planning an eat and greet at EGX, Johnny? No comment. No comment. Rob C says, that Also, there's vegan haggis. And due to all the spices notes, they're just the same as normal, re really. Yeah, veggie haggis is a very easy thing to do, I think. Um... Like, allspice or pimento is really, like, the key, I think, to that haggisy, haggisy taste. Oh, whoops, I need to cook them all, rat. There's just so much to cook. We do make a lot of money. It smells so good. Last time I was in Scotland, we uh, we found a place that did haggis burritos. That was pretty fucking great. Laura B says, just got back from my first driving lesson. So glad to see you're still streaming. I hope it went well. Uh, I still remember my first driving lesson. Not that I ever actually finished learning how to drive. Uh, but uh, yeah, that shit was kind of intense. Uh, so I hope you are able to unwind now. Um, and, yeah, welcome aboard. This game is quite gruesome, but, you know. Right. Oh, my God. Look, for the first time this stream, we're ahead of the curve on clothing. Right. We need you to catch more rats, I'm afraid, cat. I've got a letter to read. All right, I think... All right, okay, we're doing pretty pretty well on steak. Let's do a steak, onion, tomato thing. That'll help fill up the stand. Sorry about the slight stutter. I'm having to stream this from a different computer onto my streaming PC. I uh, I really hope the Elgato just works again magically because otherwise that's going to be a real problem for yours truly. Look, look, we got clothes waiting. So it's, it's a fucking miracle. And then with this Cat's not back yet, that's annoying. Nine of twelve things, come on. Give me cat. No, okay. Show me cat. Yeah, great. Just another broke nerd says, how is the two systems set up working out for you now that you've had some time with it? I mean, it's great. It means that I don't have to worry about my computer being overloaded. I know that I can run games that are quite taxing. It's wonderful when it works. But the Elgato just decided to crap itself today. I've not plugged it into this to my gaming PC for a while. Um, because I've been recording off the PS5 for uh, the Spider-Man playthrough. But really, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I just realised I've been playing the whole time on this screen when I could be playing on this screen. Wow. Fascinating. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. No, it's, it's it's good. I like it. Right. Cat's going off again. So, let's, uh, let's read a letter, shall we? I am truly satisfied with your excellent work. You have killed all the required targets. I'm sure my threats have motivated you somewhat. Light the stove up and start setting up the table for my banquet. 
I expect everything to be perfect, and extremely delicious, of course. I will be there tonight with your reward. See you soon, Jay. All right, Jay. Sound to feel end gamey. Oh, we can hang on. What more? What do we need? We can do with some more pot hats. Potatoes. Also, I think she deserves it. Let's unlock the undead bride, shall we? There she is. Wonderful. Right, I think we can open up the uh, the shops. We don't have much food sort of on the go. It's the only thing. Come on, cat. Yeah, there you are. Right, we'll cook one rat skewer, send the cat out again, and then we'll open up. Okie dokie. Anonymous says, do you have enough cash to buy the outfit from the thumbnail? Skins. Which one's that? Uh, doled up. Is it that one? I think it's that one. And then probably that one. All right, let's open up. Here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I didn't hear it. Let's hear a joke. Fuck it. I work with animals, the guy says to his date. That's so sweet, she replies. I love a man who cares about animals. Where do you work? I'm a butcher, he says. Yep. Okay. In they come. Don't you sit down. Just get something on the hoof. Go on. Take it to go. Good. Ah, oh, fuck. No, we're doing well. We're doing well. Ah, fuck. Shouldn't have said anything. Oh, yeah, we want one of them, do we? Steaky schnitzel eggy business. Oh, hello. Make a killing. Make a killing. Literally. Ha ha ha. Uh, oh, shit. Gin barrel's going to get some use today. Flare. Egg. And then we need to do a sausage and egg. Uh, sausage. Egg. Gin them. You know what? I don't care. Fucking gin them or don't. Brick wall, mister. You're fine, mate. And we're off to the races. Sausage and egg. Ah, Christ. Hildy, come on. Pick it up. They want... What even is this? Steak and... Potat. And tomat. Fine. Oh, the poor cat. Poor cat's just standing there with a rat in his mouth. Yeah, I'm sorry, bubs. Hey, more corpses. Great. 
Clean up. Clean up in Isle Blood. There's blood everywhere. Okay. Sewing. Max Smith 2013 says, Johnny, if it feels endgame, you might want to soak your PC in milk for a few hours. Very good. Blast you. Very funny. All right. We're getting the meats in today, aren't we? All right. And then some basic bitch wants a hamburger. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Yikes. And then someone wants a steak, is it? There's blood everywhere. Uh, steak, 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 steak. Then we've got to chop some people up. Haven't had to chop people up in the middle of the day for a while. Come on, Hildy! All three ovens on the go. Look at that. Wow. Christ. Okay, we're getting there. I'm sorry I described a customer as a basic bitch. I don't like using that word. But in fairness, all in fairness, all they wanted was a single hamburger on a plate. Speaking of killing Oh for fuck's sake. Brick wall misters refilling the thing. That's good. Okay. Come on. Moving there. Moving there. Oh, God. She's still making steaks. Good Lord. She's still going. She's still just making steaks. Good Lord. Make some sausages. Show me sausage. Phrasing. Oh, here we go. Who is this mysterious? <gasps> Peter? Peter? Peter's Mr. J. Lady Hildred. Life on the streets is too difficult for me. I have no money to eat. Well, there's your problem, Peter. You shouldn't be eating your money. You should be spending it on goods and services. I can't manage living on my own. I've sold everything I have. Please let me stay here with you. I promise I'll do everything you ask of me. My dear Peter, what the hell are you talking about? You know full well I can't feed you too. I need to take care of my husband and our shops. How could you come to such an idea? Mm. Please, I need a mum. Someone loving and kind like you. Me, a mother. Peter, please get these thoughts out of your head. This is a harsh world, boy. Extremely cruel. The mere thought of you all alone out there breaks my heart. But I can't take care of you. I was just like you before meeting Percival. Percival, that's his fucking name. I've complete. I'd completely forgotten his name. Uh, Neil Druitt says, "Turn Peter into pate." I've turned him into pate. I'm sure you will find your way, just like I did. Peter, take this money. And swear to me that you'll go to the station and take the first train away from this evil city. You deserve a better life than this. Wow. But. Tenderness. Tenderness. I'll do as you ask, ma'am. I promise. I trust you. You foolish child. I'll never forget you. Forget me. Now go, my love. <laughs> Anonymous says, Percival's tailor shop wasn't a clue. I didn't even look at that. Jesus. 
Can you swing that sign as well? Take good care of yourself. <laughs> Lucy says she knows tenderness mostly in steak. Yes. The nice whip says, Oh, Peter, sauce for making you eat your own wee ma'am. Goodbye, Hildred. Yeah, go on. Run along, Peter. Me, a mother. Me, a mother, a mother is me. Achievement unlocked. Ma'am? Can't swing Percival's sign there, can you? Oink. Right. Goodness me. Goodness me. Right. We've got more things to do, haven't we? The fuck is that noise? I'm sure that was fine, whatever that was. Okie dokie, we need to make some mints. No idea what that was. Hildy! Hildy! Mints! Hildy! Where are you, Hildy? Hildy? Where's what the where's Hildy gone? There's some kind of, like, electric bike, I think. Or a scooter? It's quite annoying. I'm gonna go shut a window. Where is Hildy gone? Hildy's fucked off. Oh, she gave away all of our money. Right, if I... Th mm, if I know this neighbourhood, that's gonna keep happening, so I'm just gonna shut the window. Might also go for a quick wait. I'll be back in like two minutes, sorry. I'm a brick wall mister! Sorry about that. Hang on. Where's the husband gone? Where's everybody gone? Where's he? Where, where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Couldn't see him there. I think Hildy's done a Lego, you know. There's nobody there's nobody here to grind the people or tend the eggs, fondle the onions, rotate the potatoes, rotatoes. Press the tomatoes. So there's just this skeletal dickhead making clothes. She's run away, look. No, the game thinks she's here. Hildy? Is this a glitch? Am 
I go to the main menu. Day 27, look at us go. Ah, Hildy, I knew you wouldn't run out on me. Ah, oh, great, now we're going to make some more shit. Hildy, mints. Oh, somebody's some saying it's very glitchy. This is the, that's the first real glitch I've had, to be honest. Hildy, there we go. Mints. Oh, I've also now got 106 pounds. Well, that's great. That's a lot of money. Okay, and then we'll do sausage. Or we could just do more mints. Fuck it. Mm, no, let's do sausage. People like a sausage. Okay, more sewing. Ooh. Right, well, all we, can, all we can buy is skins, so... Somebody wanted dolled up, because that's the thing on the... That's the thing from the thumbnail. I guess his one is... This one? There we go, look. Bloody landlady. Could unlock Gourmet Chef for 15 quid, why not? Put her back in doled up though, come on. Evil designer. Put him, put him back in the collector though, come on. We now unlocked everything. We've unlocked everything in the game. We've, no, there's nothing. We have gone past the need for money. There we go. We look like the thumbnail. There's a child upstairs just endlessly standing next to a barrel of gin. Wow, you know what else? Uh, Hildy just said to the cat, you are a good hunter like Percival. Um, I can, I, so completely had I forgotten the husband's name that this entire stream I've been like, oh, the cat's called Percival, all right. Whoops. Absolutely outstanding. Tremendous, really. Okay, so. Uh, what are we doing? Cooking, that's right. We'll have some mints. Not onions. Tomatoes. Lasagna. Lucy says, is Jay not coming in the end? I know, I was expecting him as well. And yet here we are. Sausage. What else can we do with sausage? Sausage and sausage and chips. <laughs> Let's make some schnitzel. It's pretty simple. Let's do schnitzel twice. Okay, lasagna, nya, 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 nya. Going up. Eggs coming down. Aha! A rat. We shall cook that. Brick wall misters, refill in the thing. Is 
Still just got some corpses here. Bit of fun. If you're into that sort of thing. Okie dokie. Definitely can fit in at least one more day. Um, I might not go all the way to 8pm because the dog's not been out for quite a while and she needs a wee. But we'll fit in one more day, certainly. Put the rat down there. Um, okay, that's all the sewing we need to do. The bases are loaded. The cat's going on another rat run. So, I think we can open up. Here they come. Get in here, dickheads. Keep it moving. Come on. Take away only, please. Ah, oh, look at them. Look at them. Fuck off! Oh, I'm sitting down. That ends. All right, brick wall mister. Find out what they want. All right, they want the old sausage, tomato, and onion surprise. Is it? The surprise is it's people. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Defect says, "Will you come back and finish another day if Jay doesn't come now?" I'll have a, I'll, 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 I'll see, I'll see. Probably. Ah, lovely, uncomplicated customers kill someone. There's no one in there. Oh, there is, there is. My God, sir, go fucking shank him. Perfectly normal video game. Perfectly normal thing to yell. I've stopped giving a shit about getting the food out as fast as possible. That, for Pete's sake, says quiche Lorraine, has a whole new meaning in this game. Oh, I haven't had some quiche in ages. I'll get some quiche for dinner. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, and then what are we doing? We're doing... Uh, oh, we're doing all the meats, are we? All right. How are we looking on the other things? Fucking clean up after yourself. I wish I could just automate Percival. What a dick. Auto Percy. Get that in the thing. Colin Laster says, I make a great quiche Lorraine. Would you then? Would you make a great quiche Lorraine? Oh no, wait, that's not what you meant. No, don't pick up a corpse, Hildy. We got we got we got a full mixed grill to make. Sorry, that was a mistake on my part. Brit Wall Mister, you better go gin some people. Come on, lad. Get them pissed. Gin them. Gin them. Uh, sewing for you. Oh. I should put this cloth on the mannequin. Shut up. Oh, there's a whole new fucking table. Yeah, gin them, boy. No, don't take the order. Gin the other one. Mm. Oh, my God. There's just so much to do. Gin them. Gin the, the mixed grill, people. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Someone wants meatballs. And people want sausage. Fucking. Oh, do you need your hands free? I'm so sorry. Prick. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, okay, all right. Oh my God, what a restauranteering was a mistake. Sausages, just make normal, normal sausages. Just innocent sausages. Come on, brick wall, mister, you got this. Oh, a whole steak, egg, wheat combo, is it? Oh, for God's sake, for God's sake. Steak. Get that out there. Egg. Egg. <laughs> D. Lornroy says, I quiche Lorraine's down in Africa. I quiche Lorraine's down in Africa. Oh, the sausages. Gin them, boy. Ginned. Ginned. So good. Such a good brick wall. Well done, brick wall, mister. We're out of takeaway food. We're out of takeaway food. We're out of so... We're making so much money. People love this shop. Despite the fact that half the people who fucking come in here never leave. And I, not in a fun Hotel California way. Put the rat down, Hildy. Gin them, boy. Boy. Get to that barrel. Boy. Come on, boy. Gin them. Oh, fuck it. Just send it. Just send it. Just send it. Gin them. Yes. Yes. Good lad. Good lad. <laughs> oh, Christ. We're low on tomatoes. Come on. Make some mints, Hildy. Come on. Just one more. One more victim, please. Damn it. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Oft. That was a day, wasn't it? Get out, sir. I know we gave you an entire bottle of gin to enjoy with your sausages, but it's closing time. Closing time. All right. Yes, cutscene. Hildred. Oh, Percival, you scared the hell out of me, honey. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me, honey. <laughs> oh, my brave woman, sir. You scared the hell out of me, honey. Ah, oh, amazing. I thought it was a client. Clients that come here aren't alive. Yes, that's a good point. Why are you here? We are ready. Oh, finally. Did you have trouble with Yvonne? She was arrogant. Who isn't in this city? At least you had some fun. We may have gone too far this time. Yvonne told me that someone will come looking for her. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me, honey. We are in danger now. D. Lawnrow says, who cares if the honey gets gets scared? They're only bees. <laughs> That's not a problem. We can leave like the last time. Disappear and start all over again. Nothing will stop us as long as we are together. Yes, darling. Nothing and no one can stop us. Now we need to prepare the banquet. What if he doesn't come? He will come, I'm sure of that. But I don't know how this story will end. We'll take the reward and kill him. But why? Why does Mr. J want to come here? He's not stupid. He surely knows we'll try to kill him no matter what. We can't kill him if he doesn't give us our reward. Who knows what it is? Do you think he's bringing other people? I don't know. I can't see a psychopath enjoying other people's co uh, company. But I'm not a psychopath myself. So I couldn't tell. Ha ha. Psychology joke. Ha ha. And what if he is armed? A weapon. I'm not afraid. We'll take him out anyway. Stop thinking about all these problems for once. I'm sure everything will be fine. Am I right? Mm. We'll get out of this together. As always. Now come on. We need to bring the corpses down here. 
Hope Brickwall Mister didn't hear that. For the many a walk, ten the giant. Bah. That guy's been dead for so long. We really deserve a little trip after this. Where would you like to go? Far away from the city. A place where we can relax a bit and just enjoy ourselves. We earn lots of money here. We could go anywhere. I spent it all on tables and costume. By the sea. We'll feed sharks with our neighbours. Ha ha ha. Come here now. Help me with Elliot. How do we bring Gilbert in the kitchen? Piece by piece. I thought you had a better idea. There goes Gilbert. He looks fucking rancid. While I'm cooking, you should prepare the table here. This is the best place to kill Mr. J. Yes. Smile, my love. Oh, wait. Smile, my love. By this time tomorrow, we won't work here anymore. We'll be in a better place. All right. Mr. J has finally arrived. He immediately made it clear we would have our reward at the end of the meal. Tonight, I've outdone myself on the cooking front. The main dish is Gilbert, served with rare with salt and pepper. Lady LaRoche is only skin and bones. I put her on the stove to avoid scorching the skin. Elliot has been here for a while. In fact, he smelt awful, but I still did a great job. I put his eyes in the pan with some sugar to caramelise them. Ooh, such a scrumptious dessert. Mr. J seemed to enjoy his meal. He ate as if we were starving. It was quite disgusting. The reward he offered us for our hard work? Just more bother. He requested he, we become his personal chefs. In return for his protection. Surely that would have made us untouchable, but also his slaves. We understood he wasn't prepared to take a no for an answer. We're no longer willing to play his games. The only thing he will taste now are my sitters. Watch out! Oh no, a gun. Ravenous Devils, achievement unlocked. Oh no. Angel Beat says, why not just poison him? Yeah. Emma Benton says... Says quite correctly, um, did, did we win? I... Did we win? Did we win? Thanks for playing Ravenous Devils. Continue from the last checkpoint to unlock everything. There are still clients to serve and kill. Got it. But I have unlocked everything. I've locked... I've unlocked everything. But... Huh. Ba... Ba... -ba. Well, I mean, I've really enjoyed that, but I kind of... The ending was a little bit... Shit. <laughs> I was hoping it would at least be like, I had to run away with the money, because Percy got shot. We don't, we don't know who... We don't know who... Coro Malayam says, I kind of assume we won since no one's body is in there. Yeah? Yeah? That or he ate us because he likes eating people? That was great, but the ending was, um, was subpar. But I tell you what, what we'll do, we'll make one last 
Lasagna, nya, nya, nya. For the road. Wheat. Tomat. I mean, I've really enjoyed this. In fairness. And I'm glad we finished it in the second stream. I'm just going to make one more lasagna, nya, 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 nya. And you know what, brick wall mister? You can have the day off. I'm going to deliver this upstairs myself. Metal Magpie says, There wasn't much of a reveal on Mr. J considering the build-up. Yeah, agreed. But the Nice Witch says, very correctly, Look, who cares about the ending when this game gave us Brick Wall Mister? Exactly. Look, Hildy, it's just like the old days. Lasagna, nya, 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 nya. There we go. Well, thank you all so much. Um, those were two pretty wild streams. Uh, even if the ending... Uh, kind of petered out a little bit. Um, goodness me, what a game! What a game! And what a what a what a long old day. Um, yeah, thank you again so much for for watching this. I'm really glad I managed to stream despite the technical difficulties beforehand. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't yet filmed this week's uh, press any Chiodini. I, I tend to do it on Fridays because it's just quite a nice end to my week. It kind of puts me in a good mood for the weekend. Um, but the Elgato went boing earlier. I'm hoping it's all right. And that if I plug in the PS5, it'll all just be fine. So let's assume that there will be new episodes of Press Any Kiedini on Saturday. If not, then I guess I've got some fixing to do. But um, other than that, there is um, a, a lot, there's, there's so much for you to watch on the channel. Um, so do have a look. I'm yawning. That's bad. That's a bad sign. Sorry. I always do that. I always do that at the end of the stream. It's like my brain's just like, oh, you're done now. And I'm like, no, I've got 20 more seconds to talk. So, um, yeah, uh, I have a Patreon. Uh, it's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. There's a link in the chat and a link in the description of this video if you did want to check that out. Or if you just wanted to um, subscribe on YouTube, that would also be useful. It is a vanity metric, let's face facts, but it's a good one. So, uh, yeah, thank you all again so much for watching. Um, I will catch you very soon, I'm sure. But... Um, yeah, just have a lovely day and take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm a brave wall mister!